still had it. We still had it on the commercial break, Corey. Sorry. Welcome <laughs> to the Sweet Life Podcast, Season Two, Episode Seven. That is the phasing octopus that we call DJ, who is a DJ amongst seven other things. That is Wu Tim, aka your neighborhood nigga. I am Eugene Wright, also known as Eugene Wright, formerly known as Eugene is Neutron. All my day boy. ones call me Mafia Boy, but my mama called me Idiot. The um, game break. That is your host, C No. And we got special guest, homie, big homie, G.I. Mag is in the building. So thank you for coming through. I ain't got um, one name, so we ain't gonna know. <laughs> I ain't gonna know it's just GI. Yes, uh, <laughs> live streamers, be sure to drop your comments, interact with us. Shout out to Chauncey Moore, Courtney Noah, and everybody else that's in the room right now. Might have a couple of new faces in this bitch, man. I've been I've been recruiting, dog, since this Ebola <laughs> broke out. I mean, Corona. <laughs> that too. Disregard the number at the top of the screen. That don't work right now. Um, we're gonna get that fixed later. I ain't had time to do nothing. Cause I ain't been working from home this week. Um, <laughs> What's up, D? Two weeks Chance? recap. Uh, TPO, how you been? Oh, so like, uh, since I'm a valet. <laughs> oh wow, yeah, <laughs> straight up. I don't work, and so I just been at home streaming video games and working on music and working on this comic and all that shit. Yeah. You definitely have to be able to uh, Twitch channel. I can never see it. <laughs> you got to get the app. You got to get the app to see it. Well, you can, but it's going to be wet if you don't. Okay. Yeah. But other than that, uh, I've just been chilling at the house, not getting any revenue. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and just working on shit. I just realized you have like a whole aeronautics thing with the Moonstone t-shirt and then you brought the um, monkey knobs. Yeah, no, you know, we're going to space. <laughs> well, yeah, space, what, what's the Trump thing? He'll definitely coordinate some shit. Oh, you're talking about Space Force? Yeah. Space Force. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I would have, I promise I would have bought a jacket. <laughs> <laughs> that shit virtual as hell. It's going to be virtual as hell in about, you know, yeah. 30 years. But what's yeah. up, Skills? We see you, my nigga. Wu Tim, how you two weeks been? Man, listen, I got two weeks off. Can't get no better than this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, it's good. My kid getting big. Definitely getting spoiled. The fucker got an attitude already, so I've been putting the belt up to his nose and let him smell it. <laughs> it's waiting on It's waiting, my nigga. Like, I done got boo booed on, so I'm definitely gonna be okay. okay. All right, we back. are back in action. Yeah, they just, we just cut off the, uh, the high quality webcam, so we just gonna rock off the FaceTime cam and thug it out that way. Um, but yeah, so we was in the two week recap. Tim had us there. Um, it's a fucked up way to call my name without blowing on that. Woo. <laughs> no mm-hmm. You good though? My mama know that I do this shit. I don't give a fuck about who I know. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> my two weeks is good. I'm still here. I'm above the dirt. Why does shit always cut off on me? Like, do they have <laughs> <laughs> That literally is the truth though. That's just yeah, every yeah. time that shit cut off, you talking. I apologize, you. Put the hat on. God, yeah, put your hat on. I came <laughs> prepared. <laughs> he he the the waves out your shit. You apologize uh, to the Jews? Yeah, he Man, wild, that's the he and he'll say, dog. Oh, okay, you just gotcha. don't understand. That no, I mean, I, I just wanted to make sure I heard oh, it correctly. Oh, oh, and I apologize. You're not referring to uh, what Roseburg called the synagogues of uh, Satanism. <laughs> but now that's what we're going to come back to that. We're going to come back to that. But I got what he was saying. <laughs> he said it again. See, no. That was your two weeks. Um, like you said, man, I'm grateful to just, you know, be alive. I'm condensing to, to yesterday. Yesterday was fucking like a TV show, man. And when I got a haircut, nigga cut my hair with a gas mask on. <laughs> <laughs> then I went to work. A nigga passed out in, in the hallway. We need to quarantine. They got put, put the dude on the stretcher, carried him out. Then two niggas came in with hazmat suits on and cut up the carpet. <laughs> True story. And after that, I went off. Was like, I want to work from home. So yeah, I'm I'm at the house for the next couple of weeks or whatever, chilling. So, you had to ask to work from home after seeing that shit. And we talking about corporations, man. I don't really work from home for real. I'm just saying, you I had mean, to get permission to leave. You know what I mean? That's. <laughs> It's corporations, man. <laughs> then after 9 11, you should have the right to take 40 of a nigga do some shit. Like but that. see, this is the thing, though. If you don't ask, they not gonna do it. 
I had to, I had to ask. See, that's why I bought this hat. Cause I ain't gotta ask shit. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I block all this shit up. Though. Nigga, what you ain't gotta do with that? What? <laughs> What's good, man? You got your two piece fit. <laughs> cause man. niggas in the house, cause they ain't got no hat like this. I ain't gonna catch Corona. <laughs> Come on, man. Go ahead. What's up, GI? Man, everything's lovely, man. I'm, I'm working from the crib too, man. We just we've been at uh, our, our whole company. They they send everybody home to work from home, so ain't nobody at the office. Um, outside of that, man, I'm trying to push this album, guy. You know what I'm saying? Versus the world, ain't like that first ain't that fitting yeah. right now? <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely some uh, some some very timely content on that. I don't know uh, was necessarily meant to be in that space, but you know, hey, the vibe on it, yeah. I ain't mad at it. Yeah. Um, yeah, so. How was your two weeks, Eddie? Yeah? It's been straight. <clears throat> I've been working from work. <laughs> 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 I need to take this off. Nah, Ooh. you good, bro. Um, you keep it on. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, I've been uh, working from work. Um, I and I still doing all right. Catch them streams. Um, <laughs> fire, super. Thank you. Um, Everybody's uh, everybody been pushing band camp today. I recently got rid of my band camp. Uh, visit sandcoversuite.com. You might find a surprise there. Wink, wink. Um, so yeah, check that out. Um, also, merchandise is there too. We ain't got no merch on day. We really just chill. We definitely got merch on. Today. <laughs> we selling uh, Corona feeding. caps. <laughs> no caps. Just a limited time order. <laughs> so no no caps order. Order. For the show over That's with. And you can get this one time only. <laughs> Look at Court. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> it too, Courtney. Shout out to Ray. We got your size too. We coming out with headband next week if it lasts that long. All right. <laughs> wow. Protect your mind and them temples right there. <laughs> Protect your neck. All right. Drink menu. Um, DJ, what the fuck is that? Uh, it's the monkey knot. <laughs> monkey knot. It's, an, it's an IPA. It's like seven percent. Oh, <laughs> Uh, we got coronas just because we thought it would be funny. Corona! Corona, Rona! Good night. Um, anybody that work with me at my day job, tell them I had corona over the weekend. See if they let me work from home. Because I'm tired of driving the Hoover every day while all y'all at home. Because I'm not 60 and I ain't got no kids. They did let people 60 mm. and people with kids uh, work from home. Not work from home, but stay home. Ooh. Bro, I got a. That's fair. Fuck them kids, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard for me to say that now, but yeah, fuck them other folks' kids. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta put other folks in it now. Can't just say fuck them kids no more. We can say, we say cool. F them kids, because you know I F Oh, definitely fuck them kids. I just can't say <laughs> Um, We got water. Um, GI came through with the Douce. Uh, and the Woofer Reserve. 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 Um, Calarochi wine. And a special cup of that two weeks off. <laughs> All right. Cena is yours. Take it over, bro. Well, y'all know what the, you know, the main topic of discussion is. We can't get enough of it. It's every fucking well. <laughs> All your social media, everything, man. So I had to come with the, <laughs> the virus. <laughs> Coronavirus. Coronavirus. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, <laughs> first tab. <laughs> no, legal no pass. I know. I'm saying, like... First tablet, it was in stone. Well, true. True. <laughs> but anyhow, I was talking about. <laughs> but yeah, man, the topic of discussion, like, um, it's the coronavirus, man. It definitely has affected our community. Whether, you know, in Birmingham, Jefferson County, or abroad, America, Italy, China, which is getting over it. Um, they, you know, been enduring it for like three months. So it has definitely spread rapidly. And just to. Talk about it, man. Like over there's 20,000 cases in the U.S. Like it's over 50 in Jefferson County, and that's it's only over 50 because they haven't had the adequate testing. So who knows, you know, what, what the number really is? Then you know, 241 people have died in the United States from this thus far. Ten over 10,000 in the world. Um, Italy has the most, even more than China. Over 3,000 people in Italy have, have died over it. Um, of course, in Jefferson County and abroad, non-essential businesses are closed, meaning you know your barbershops, your nail salons, clothing, retail spots, game spot, Planet Fitness. All those spots are closed more so than in just have grocery stores and gas stations and maybe a, a few municipalities. 
and you know the stock market fell you know record lows lows the lowest lows since like 2008 during the recess, recession um you know scientists and doctors <laughs> right. scientists and doctors you know they projecting that they won't have a um a vaccine a vaccine for like 18 months right. so we gonna be in this for a while you know no goddamn sports like DJ say, you can't watch Formula One. I can't watch Champions League or Football. Premier League soccer. You know, shh. I had to turn back on my Xbox. I don't really play games, but there's something to do. I can't creep no more. I can't do none of that. All right, so, I'm done. You know? so I'm chilling, man. Like, so that's where we at. But I just want to just kind of run down what's going on. And I just want to get everybody perspective on what y'all think from y'all own personal insight about this. And my question, I really want to know, do you all think the U.S. government failed um, for their lack of preparation? Do you think they were, did they have a lack of preparation, you know, um, in y'all opinion? And, yeah, we're just going to kick it off, man. We're just going to, you know, freestyle it. Everybody give, like, they soliloquy, not like, you know, last <laughs> time, you know, that bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we got you in here, man. Hey, Last time, that was some fuckery. And I was <laughs> gonna say this: I know I'm talking a lot, but That's I didn't right. get to talk that you know, much. You know, the episode yeah. uh, we knew what was gonna happen. Yeah, we did. I, yeah, like, and Bimbo, like, yeah, you had me and him in a little one. He kept calling me down, like, man, you my nigga, cause he knew I was feeling some type of way. You did too. I deliberately tried to. Uh, I mean, I knew I had to love him more eventually. But that's my nigga. He got a good heart. At the same time, something crazy. Before we beach. launched this podcast, I was like, no. <laughs> so I would think after we've done so many episodes, you kind of get the idea. Dog, I done been out at a bar and had a conversation with him, and it's just been like he don't listen. <laughs> like, he, he he don't read well. <laughs> Shut up, up. Oh yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. All right. <laughs> nah, man. Shout out to him, man. That's a yeah. good dude. Man. Yeah, nah. I ain't he mean nothing. good, but yeah, no, he just I mean, on just... God, I mean, he gonna want to beat me up now. He don't have that type of energy. He want to nah, debate with you. He going to want to talk to you. Yeah, <laughs> all day. That he might was, be, take that, a little longer than fight. But <laughs> <laughs> that nigga was on that corn liquor that night. He was glazed. His ass was glazed. <laughs> oh, corn liquor. Real. Oh, no, that, that nigga is dude. Yeah, he was fucked up. But yeah. Yes, the government failed. But they failed. Talk about your perspective. I have, coronavirus. I, have, I just want to throw that out there. It's the uh, IE, the Trump card. Yes, they fail. They always fail. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> as far as the situation of how the virus has presented itself, don't get me wrong. Because last episode, I definitely uh, still was not taking it serious. Um, <laughs> I'm going to hold my ground. I'm still not going. I'm not that I'm not taking it serious. I'm just not into the hysteria um, that everybody is presenting. Like, I've seen people call off work uh to say oh i'm not feeling well like they just people using it as an excuse to stay home in some cases but i do understand that you it is very real mm, maybe <laughs> that's maybe <laughs> that yeah. some companies still deciding who knows who's in that bill um but i, mean, I got I got some information on it yeah yeah i mean i ain't i ain't researching it but at the same time i don't want to use that opera make this an opportunity to where I'm not working when there very well may come a time that you can't work. Right. For sure. You know what I'm saying? So it may very well come in the next couple of weeks. Yeah, it very well away. Yeah. So these times now where I can stack up my coin and put myself in a good position. Let me take full advantage of it because I don't want to be the one to cheat the system and I feel like karma would come back to bite me. Like if I'm out here saying Or like, it would take your PTO. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And I say <laughs> that because I burn them at the end of the year. I'm right. gone the whole month of uh, November and December. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. nah, realistically though, uh, I feel like karma for me personally would be like, yo, you ain't 60, you ain't got no kids, uh, you not uh, at risk. Uh, personnel like that <coughs> don't try to finagle the system for those that need that benefit yeah. right um because i know how karma get down with me and it will come back and bite me in the ass so until they shut us down i'm gonna continue to move through it safely and carefully um you got course. that larry david karma 
Huh? <laughs> no, <laughs> Curvy no, enthusiasm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, not too much. I ain't got too much. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got more like Hank Moody combo. Yeah, you know, fucking combo. I don't know who the hell are them folks. <laughs> Fuck that. That shit be like. Can't get away with shit. Generally, that's how it works. It always come back. Right. Um, but um, it's funny. I had to go out in the grocery stores uh, last weekend, and that shit was hilarious. Yeah, like, the day. no tissue, and I was like, you know, you can't like wipe the shit off you, right? I mean, not like the shit. Of course, that's what tissue was meant for. But I'm saying, like, you can't wipe coronavirus. They expect off to be in the house for a long time. I mean, true, but forever. They bought a lot of fucking <laughs> toilet paper. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. Niggas was taking toilet paper, baby. They bought some money. Nah, they ain't they they taking, taking it back. back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Costco was like, y'all niggas keep it. Yeah, <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's just weird, you know, stepping out into the world to see that. Like, I've never had an easier time getting to work in the morning. <laughs> like, traffic is down. Uh, you definitely can't say, man, I was stuck on the freeway. Yeah, it's just like, I almost left. Oh, man, traffic ain't even. A thing now, right? Like, yeah. I can drive a bike down the freeway, right? Yeah, now. Yeah, <laughs> like, bitch, gas like oh four five, right? Now. You know what I'm saying? So it's just kind of it's weird seeing the the flux and everything. Um, you know, I mean, I'm don't get me wrong. I definitely want to be at the house all day. You know what I'm saying? Because if I'm at the house. Probably not gonna do no work that ain't got nothing to do with my corporation. Exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna make the greatest album of all time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, and I'm, I think I'm pretty well suited mm-hmm. for that. Um, if I needed to be in the house all day. Yeah. Um, but I, I'm just not trying to take advantage of the opportunity to hop on the bandwagon, the trend, while everyone else is doing it, unless they're forced to do it. Because I feel like if I'm able to move through this time, it's gonna benefit me when that time come when, you know, cats have already burnt out groceries, they've already burnt out money, they ain't even paid up the bills the next two months. There's so much that goes into that uh, stay at home survival game that people may not be accounting for. And that's what I'm looking at right now. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna move and work through it until. Especially when you don't have the luxury to, you know, yeah. do those things. Fam. <laughs> yeah. You got it though. It's on you, GI. Um, the question was, oh, do I feel like the government has been, has failed in this? In yeah, that's, that's the question. And also, yeah. <laughs> you know, um, and also give yeah, your yeah, perspective. Your perspective. Salvage your perspective. Of um, how you look at this. this <laughs> I mean, so I definitely feel like it's serious. Um, more so for the, the way the public is reacting more than like, I feel like it's a deadly virus that's going to like wipe out humanity. Right. Like, I don't, I don't know that it's necessarily that degree. Um, you know, communicable diseases have been around forever, right? So it's not like we just found out that human contact can pass diseases on us. Um, and diseases that kill people, right? Like, that's, this isn't new. Like, this yeah. is not like some new, crazy version of something that is m- more deadly. Like, I don't, I don't feel like that's the case. I just feel like we haven't, uh, we haven't tested accurately enough to get real numbers. Like, right. in, in, a, in a small sample set, it looks terrible. But like, if you probably look across what really is happening is probably not as deadly as people um, assume it to be. Uh, that being said, um, from my perspective, I, I also, um, I, I was watching uh, one of the press conferences. Uh, there was a, a, a woman that was on there, I don't remember her name, one of the Trump press conferences, and she was <laughs> talking about how <clears throat> she's applauding um, local municipalities for taking extreme measures to try to protect people who are at risk. Yeah. Um, and I think that's something that we can learn from this and take it in a moment and say, yo, we can we can like duplicate this for other seasons of, of virality of communicable diseases. I think we need to be able to do that kind of thing in society to really look after people who are at risk for stuff and stop like putting them in, in a bad way. Um, but at the other side of it, like I just feel like, man, like shutting down complete city, like, it's, I think it's a little too much, you know what I'm saying? Like, that, that, I, I'm torn, right? Because some people are yeah. taking it like not serious at all. And so they yeah, just yeah, out there yeah. like continuing to do whatever as <laughs> if they will never come in contact with somebody who has uh, a high risk um, of, of uh, transmit, uh, like if it's transmitted to them, it's going to do something. But on the other end, like, uh, I don't know. I just feel like some people are like in complete panic mode and like every little thing is setting them off. <laughs> and I just don't know that it's necessarily to do that. Like, I think we have to find, like, 
with with every single thing that happens in society, I think the the extremes always dominate the narrative, mm -hmm. and and that's really what's ha like. This isn't even like a narrative driven thing. Like it's literally the extremes are the only things that are happening. To control everything. Like people who are panicking are on one side versus the people who are like, hey, this ain't nothing. And they just doing whatever while and out. And it's like the people, everybody else stuck in the middle. Like, yeah, what what are y'all doing, bro? Like, <laughs> y'all doing too much, or y'all doing too much? Um, and, I, and I, I'm right there in the middle, like, you know, like, this is about to get bad because I understand how these extremes are tugging at the center. Right. Um, and then you have the government in the middle trying to figure out how to figure, try to figure out a way to, like, mediate all of this. And they're failing miserably, right? Like, <laughs> they don't have, um, they didn't have, so there wasn't adequate preparation to begin with just because a lot of infrastructure stuff was taken out from, um, and they didn't feel like it's like one of the things where like I, I have to give an analogy for everything. I apologize. Go ahead. Uh, but like it's like you looking at because you know Trump is like the mechanic for the whole uh, you know car, right? And he like looking at the car like, what is this? Ah, oh, we don't need this. And he just talks <laughs> in that mug about the engine like, mm, I don't think we need that either. This oh, engine man. has too much engine. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and then you get like two miles down the road and then mug start breaking down and you like, what is going on? Yeah. And everybody in the back seat like, <laughs> and they and they own they end up for the ride now though like yeah, they can't yeah. do nothing yeah. they hopped on a long time ago and they gotta like ride it out the guy that's driving to like that he gonna get us to the destination it's like no, Psych. sir <laughs> it's not how this that's works the wrong number. <laughs> that's mm -hmm. not how this works so yeah i just i think it's uh i think we're in a situation right now where um we, we, we just we, we didn't have the right stuff in place to be uh to put us in a good place now that we're far enough down the road where it's too far to turn around um, and we just gonna end up being jacked up, bro. <laughs> Sorry. Good assessment, though. Well, yeah, nobody commented no more. I feel like we froze again for some reason. Nah, nah, nah we still here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Watching on pins and needles. I think they just need to let us talk. They were going for a notepad. They like, oh, they become a credible source now. <laughs> like, <laughs> let me pay attention. <laughs> I was bullshit. Yeah, boy. Oh, you know how I fucking feel about put this the, shit. Put the head, but they don't got to put your hat on every time yeah, you talk. Yeah, no, you <laughs> already know. You got that hat on. fucking hot, dog. Check this out, though. Plus 10 to running. conspiracy. <laughs> 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 go for it. You I'll, got the flow, Nate. Go I was talking it. shit back when, January, though. I'm running. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so I said, so that shit don't mean shit. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it's like this, dog. I want to see a body count of them little uh, arms of the angel kids that be coming on it. Because <laughs> I ain't going to keep paying my little 265. You feel me? They supposed to drop immediately. <laughs> Where they body count at? We not hearing it from Haiti. You know what I'm saying? Poor countries not pulling up on yeah. the map. Like, we we were talking about that earlier, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, hope I don't get cut for this. But I'm one of the people that's taking it as a joke. I'm sorry. Like, cause like everything happened for a reason, you know what I'm saying? In this day and time, and they control too much, man. Definitely. If I knew about this shit in January, how the fuck Trump didn't know about it, dog? Like, let's just be real about this shit. Now, they actually admitted today on the press conference that they've known since November. Right. That's when, yeah. And the shit really broke out in October. Bill Gates stepped down, like a bunch of CEOs been stepping down like from their jobs. Like that shit ain't no motherfucking coincidence. How the fuck Bill Gates stepped down? Yeah, so I ain't gonna lie. Like, so one of the homies, C Noah, put up a motherfucking meme in the group chat and it was like my Xbox went off live. I actually have an Xbox 360. And my niggas was tripping. Or oh, I had an Xbox One and a 360. But yeah, we was online and shit on the one. And uh Shit just went like frozen, you know what I'm saying? Like, our shit just happened. And I was like, you can click on somebody's name, but when you click on their name, they shit just disappears, you know what I'm saying? So, what a coincidence that day that motherfucking Bill Gates stepped down from fucking Microsoft. So, I thought about like the little whole 5G thing that's popping off. I thought about that too. Like, man, there's a whole bunch of shit going on, dog. And we finna be chilling for a long ass time, nigga. Like, I thought about martial law and shit, man. Like, I think about like New York and Cali are already on curfew. I'm gonna say this, dog. Yeah, we Not only has Kansas. United States been at <coughs> on house arrest, but they put the motherfucking world on house arrest besides the poor countries. You know what I'm saying? And that's amazing. If ain't nobody really paying attention, dog. So if they can put the whole world at a standstill, don't you think they want one world ruler? Oh 
I'm seeing like you on that globalism shit. Shit, they doing that globalism. Oh no, like it's right been, like, but no, it's yeah. been in works for years. Yeah, so I mean, like, what can you do? You know what I'm saying? It's either falling suit or shit, kick rocks, my nigga. And like, where can you go? Cause wherever you go, nigga, you gonna be in the house. <laughs> Like, on some real shit, nigga. I'm flying out the country and go right in the house, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck you gonna do? You might well dig a hole, my nigga. Bury yourself. Like, for real. <laughs> Them doomsday prepper shows when they put my motherfucking goddamn likes on Facebook. I'm telling you that now. Crackers out there digging up school buses 50 feet in the ground. They chilling. Told feet. those niggers. I told them. Jesus coming back. All that bullshit, man. I don't know. I can't say. It. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say it. I can't say it. You know what I'm saying? I got a ten four fitted hat. That's twelve ninety nine right now online. If you subscribe now, you get it. That's Click like, share, comment, and subscribe. We gonna work on ventilation for this motherfucker because it's hot as a bitch up in this. Because you got all that hair, bro. See, it's just bald. <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah, I got, if I got you was bald, the sweat would just free you. I got convertibles. I got <laughs> convertibles. Yeah, you need your you convertible know? for the hot. You got hey, it. That's what we get two braids for. Wi Fi phone, dog. Top down. <laughs> Yeah. But man, the shit wide the fuck open, dog. All I can tell you is your mama, your grandma, your granddad, your dad still living. Make sure you check them basically every fuck back. Like on some real nigga shit. Like, oh of God. course the fucking government fit. Your alarm clock fails you. Like, y'all <laughs> still trusting the government? You gonna ask me that, my nigga? Me, out of all people, Corey, you asking me as a government, where the hell they got them succeeded? <laughs> Let's ask that. Has the government succeeded for you, my nigga? So that's, actually, that's actually a different question. You, yeah, no. Nah, when you say it for you, exactly. Like, yeah, 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 when you yeah, say it for yeah, you, yeah. that's a whole like, different like, situation. Like for us, then. Like, fuck. Yeah, that's, that's a whole different. <laughs> whole, whole different question. It's all good. Wide open, man. I feel like I need an extra five minutes because last week I couldn't talk. <laughs> Run it, go ahead. Run it, man. I ain't man. gonna be selfish, man. Go ahead, DJ. I mean. Spread them out as tonight. Go. Like, um, right. So for me, it was different, right? Um, my sister was in China. Uh, oh, she in China? China? No, oh, she back right. here. Oh, like, she came back in December. Oh, like, man. for Christmas. It happened in November in yeah. China. Yeah. Is she straight, though? Did she go? Yeah, good? she good. Okay. Like, um, she was in that area? No, no, she okay. was in Beijing. Okay. <laughs> she got the fuck on. <laughs> 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 but yeah, no, like, so, like, I already knew, like, the shit was getting goofy in China. You know what I'm saying? And so, like, I'm just watching the shit just, all right. Yeah, for real, for real. <laughs> and, so, and so I'm just like, all right, that's interesting. No, they shut down an entire city. Hmm. Oh, they got it in Europe. Tight. It's <laughs> <Is that> tight. <laughs> Italy is shut the fuck. What? American got it? Damn. So guess what? You know what I'm saying? Next week, we're going to shut the fuck down. <laughs> Next week on <laughs> Like you know what I'm saying Like I'm just watching the shit happen Cause like And then I'm at work And I make them turn the TV on the news They wanna keep it on like Fucking Ain't no sports, sports center and shit pay, Like sports center and shit and it's like Ain't no sports What you watching Classic <laughs> Bro the, the, the GM went in there Turned TV on ESPN I was like He really turned the TV on ESPN There are no sports happening <laughs> You know he gotta He gotta protect the customers And shit you want Man customers to fuck them niggas you know? They out here living just like on me. Got movie. read captions of Stephen A. Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Dog, fuck that. But, like, and then me working as a valet, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm really paying attention to the shit because. Yeah, you a nigga's car. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I come in contact with like a million people a day. Yeah. And so, like, I'm really paying attention to the shit. And then I hear the conversation. I'm at work. No, they, they do the schedules. It's like, all right, the schedule, shit might change. Boom, boom, schedule change. <laughs> <laughs> and so then it's like, all right. So I go to work. And then they go, all right, check it. All fucking, like, days, hours canceled. Like, everybody, if you schedule, come, don't come in. Uh, like, I was the last person to work valet. Until they like decided, like, and then they like pared down to only managers. Like, only managers work. They had them niggas playing musical chairs in that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't one chair left, nigga. Hey. <laughs> and then, so I'm sitting there, I'm like, 
word. <laughs> Sweet. And so then I go home, I'm like, all right, so let me plan out what I'm finna do. I got a lot of free time. <laughs> Man, y'all finna get this music. Y'all finna get these streams. Yeah, um, streaming like a motherfucker. Yeah, nah, y'all finna get all yeah, this like shit. The whole catalog. <laughs> hey, hey, <laughs> hey, my Steam has over 200 games. Uh, we can do this. <laughs> but, like, <laughs> but, like, even then, like, and so then I wait for the country club yeah. to be like, all right, we close. So I'm waiting on them. Mm-hmm. And go, country club closed. So, low key, I think somebody, a member, Got that shit. Yeah, but they be flying everywhere. Yeah. Exactly. Like they legit be flying everywhere. And so club closed. And so like I just been dodging the bullet. (laughs) Bro. And then just chilling at the crib. I ain't cutting your store, but bro The factory I had to pull up in every day ain't gonna just call it their name or nothing like that. It's a factory, you know what I'm saying? So like, we went to one building, they ain't had this checkpoint at the time, nigga. It take like 15 minutes to get to the next building, my nigga. Don't you know that they did a goddamn government pass and passed a motherfucking law? So when you pull up in this bitch, you had to fill out shit saying, have you been out the country in the last 14 days? Every day? Have you came in contact with somebody in the last... That's I don't know. I ain't seen it. <laughs> I don't know people like that. Like the shit, I understand that they got to do this shit, but... They're doing that with my job, too, though. <sighs> it's bro, like, crazy. you need to ask better questions, my nigga. Like, have you been running a fever? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. do you have a kid at home? But I will say this. Before they go, like, all right. That shit crazy, so check bro. it. It would be easier if people would just stay the fuck home. Thanks. Instead of letting the government have to be like, hey... Now you're on lockdown, damn ass. That, that's that's what I mean. <laughs> like the the extremes of situations. Yeah. It's like you're like you're almost playing into the hands of yeah. people to say like because I have a son, right? And so like if you don't if if the more and more he does stuff, then I'd be like, okay, like chill out, don't do that. It's like okay, I have to like up my level right. of yeah. like severity to get him to understand, and that's exactly what society is doing. They like. Oh, don't go out. Ah, I'm going to go out a little bit. It's like, bruh, bruh chill out. I'm going to tell you. Before they have to amplify this. So I went to uh, I went to American Deli in uh, in Central Park. And so, like, I go in there. You know, they doing what they're supposed to do. Like, it's like, ah, stay away from each other. It's a line now. You can't sit in this motherfucker. All the seats turned upside down. Whatever. Cool. Across the street, there's like a hair salon situation. Man, they out there playing music and got barbecue and shit. <laughs> and I'm saying I'm like, damn, it's like 30 of y'all in one space. Why y'all do <laughs> Like why y'all why? Why don't you just do the thing? <laughs> and then like we could just be cool. Right. Yeah. Just let let a couple of weeks pass. <laughs> Chill out for a minute, cause niggas on here. Exactly. I be because talking like, all you my shit. You can't tell me bro. what to do. Right. I be talking <laughs> all I my shit. Yeah, I be talking all my shit and conspiracy shit, bro. But it's like felt wanted. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Like, this could possibly happen. And yeah. the shit happened. It's like, nigga, all right. So what about me saying like some shit like that? They'll do your research. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what the point to say. Do your research, nigga. Look up world news. You know what I'm saying? Because you know they like a day and a half ahead of us. Associated Press is like the least biased. It is like, like news. Church is biased. Like fuck. Sometimes. <laughs> I'm out here touching elevator buttons with my elbow. <laughs> With my hoodie. Bro, new dude on job. Like, what's up, man? I was like, you said that, man. Nigga, pass around I'm nano machines. Shit. I'm talking yeah. shit, but I'm still following Yeah, exactly. Shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, 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 yeah, man, the government set this shit up, nigga, but you see what I'm doing. Like, nigga, Hit the foot tap on him. Like, what? Oh, nigga's crazy, bro. Like, kid to play out here. Nigga's really don't stop at stop signs. Like, for real, for real. Hey, you ain't lying, though. That's, yeah. Nigga, like, right. AIDS been in existence for 20 years. Ever. Still going in raw. Okay. Like, fam. Don't okay. I'm glad you brought it because I was going to bring that shit up. Yeah, I did the last episode. Like, look. <laughs> we'll go ahead. Yeah. So, so it's, it's, man, it, it seems like we're part of a, a indirect, I don't know if it's meant to be this way, but like <laughs> part of a big ass social experiment, first off. Yeah. From the outrage, from the fear mongering. 
you know, it's, it's just crazy. Like, I, I, I totally agree with him. Like, I feel like everybody in this room in the middle, regardless of their perspective, whether it's a tinfoil hat perspective or just a common man perspective, but I feel like we're all in the middle. You know, we, we just write like Goldilocks. We're not getting over, you know, over and yeah. over and talking about Jesus coming back. Or we not, I seen the nigga on shell on 24 was just playing music and shit on my way over here. <laughs> and I don't know no shit like that, man. And it's, it's just crazy. You said something in the beginning of your album, like, man, look to your left, look to your right, but look inside. Yeah. And you, you see how people, you know, people go to church every, every Sunday, you know, people too cool for school or whatever on the internet. But niggas tripping. Niggas, big tripping. Niggas tripping, man. The common sense thing, I agree with you, Derek, is just to just just to stay in the house, man. Like you gotta take preventative steps. Whether you believe it or not, take the pre preventative steps. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like like they tell you when you have sex, wear a condom. Yeah, you paint no. your wife. Mitigate you know, risk. Yeah, yeah, mitigate risk. But you know, people don't do not you know, don't understand that or don't comprehend and reading comprehension is very important. Yes. You see it like going back to like last week, it was a big running joke that man shit, Alabama ain't got it. And I knew for a fact Alabama had Yeah, no. But like, it's just that, you know We yeah. was the last to get tests. Yeah. <laughs> Leadership we the last. No, we, we weren't, weren't the last. Weren't the it last. just, you know, as a whole, the government was not really prepared for this. Yeah. You know, they they really wasn't prepared for it. Like in twenty eighteen Trump laid off the whole pandemic unit department. He laid the <laughs> motherfuckers like, we don't need y'all motherfuckers. Y'all, y'all done. Diseases yeah. don't exist no more. Yeah. Fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> now you should have the WID text tool. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and it, it was a, you know, it was an article in Associated Press talking about if they would if they would have had that, they would have been able to kind of like curve it and foil it if that if that department still existed. Then you know, so many layers to it though, like yeah. Like straight, so again, this, this is this is me hearing a lot of stuff, right? So like, apparently, um, the World Health Organization had a test that they were administering in like in China and Japan, like in the places that already had the um, the situation going on, and Ooh. they and and the, the Trump administration was like, nah, we good. I was I was about to get to that. They was yeah. like, we don't want it, and they yeah. wanted to develop their own locally yeah. so they could administer. And so it was like two months later to like even like in a response time. So you don't have the infrastructure set up to do it. And then you decide without infrastructure that you want to try to like get some stuff going off the ground rather than giving getting something yeah. that's ready made. And so like you scraping up random motherfuckers that's trying to <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> <that's laughs> <crazy>, <laughs> open up the parks of Walgreens, <laughs> CVS. January the twenty sixth through the twenty eighth, the World Health Organization held held was it was having conferences with the Trump administration, telling them like we have this vaccine want y'all to test it and we feel like you all need to take preventative steps before it hit yep. the u.s okay. and it was like wait 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 before you go what day you said january what the 26th was like 28 who died kobe died before that did not no i guess 26. what i told time you frame. so i mean what do that have to do okay. with that topic <laughs> keep going but yeah, <laughs> put your head up. <laughs> put your head up. Put your head up. Put your head up. No put your head up. Put your head up. When they had this shit, when who had this shit again? The World Health Organization, they call them who? But who? 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 That's a bar. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, but they that's came to the Trump administration <laughs> telling them, like, you know, you, may, you all may want to get in front of this. And try to forward this. He like, we'll be okay. Yeah, he ain't gonna do Cold that. Just that say four on the head number. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Yeah. quadruple. Don't tell them. Don't ask me how. Don't ask me how. They need a tissue. They need tissue. They need tissue. They need tissue. They don't. Oh, I'm killing this shit tonight. <laughs> It's so stupid. <laughs> this nigga sound like that meme, that Uma Johnson meme, Batman, Bass. I'm trying to warn the brothers. That's exactly what this nigga sound like. Yeah, 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 yeah. This nigga tripping. Oh, he's yeah. a Jay Electronic Ooh. album. Oh. <laughs> World coming to the end. Uh, Jay dropped the album. Uzi dropped the album. Oh, my God. Uh, All we waiting on is Playboy Cardi. Oh, if Playboy Cardi drop, it's, it's it. With, you know, it's it. It's it. Goodbye. <laughs> 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 All I'm gonna say, man, is you know, just just take the preventative steps. It's gonna get worse before oh, it gets better, man. Oh well, we yeah, chilling for a minute. And 
Yeah, it, the it, thing that I'm, I'm most worried about, right? Like, I just feel like, like you said, I think it's just there's there's uh, a, a more grim situation that we're looking forward to um, that we haven't. Like, I don't, I don't think people really understand like the level to which yeah. it can get. Yeah, and, nah. like, because they don't understand where it can get. They're like acting like it ain't that big a deal. And it's yeah, like, I'm gonna get one piece of advice: adjust how you eat. Yeah, that's what I say. It's <laughs> like, a long time. Be, hey, uh, dog. If you <laughs> ain't that active, you don't need to be eating that much. What you mean with it? If you if you ain't burning that many calories, yeah. you know, got don't that eat that much. Like that. <laughs> and niggas finna be, be leaning month. on that fucking fast food because niggas don't know how to cook. Oh, here's the other thing about the grocery store. Let me throw this on the back end, right? It was funny because this, like, last weekend was legitimately my weekend to grocery shop. When I grocery shop, I hate being in the stores. I hate shopping. Period. I shop for like two, three months at a time. So it's like, <laughs> damn, damn, shop right now. Hey, straight up, yeah, saying, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, one of them old hey, school freezers man, somewhere look, in this month. Fam. Not, not, not that quite, but too. here's the thing, though, right? This is what was like, funny. Cause Courtney did mention it in the comments earlier. Um, of course, no fucking tissue in the store, but all the vitamins and shit are there. I'm like, cool. I'm gonna get my biotin, my vitamin C. Hey, <laughs> and, and everything is on sale. But no, here's the other funny part, right? First off, I don't know why niggas ain't fucking with Dasani even the world ended. It's a whole palette of Dasani yeah. shit here. All the other, Deer Park, Aquafina, Walmart Spring if, Water. If, if everything else is sold out and nobody's touching Dasani, that junk is crazy, bro. Like, yeah. no, I tell you thing, something worse though. Hold on, hold on, let me finish. Same thing with fucking bread. All the bread is gone except for Giant. I don't know what it is about that little white girl on that bread, but niggas went, bread. Niggas went fucking green bread. shit. Like, they ain't buying it. And I see other people, you know, stacking their buckets full of shit, you know, Gatorades, Cokes, and everything. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm getting my shit. And I'm like, dang, niggas, they bought the ground beef and shit. But yeah. when I grocery shop for the house, I damn the grocery shop like a vegan. So I'm like, oh, all the veggie burgers still? Yeah, yeah. no. Nah, nah, all the vegan chicken nuggets. All the shit that would be beneficial. Chill. I'm going to try the bro. jackfruit this time. It's expensive, for sure. Ain't nobody fucking with the nuts. Yeah, it's like. I'm inside the yeah, chicken. Ain't those. nobody fucking with the I'm no. like, damn. Yeah, ain't nobody fucking with the nuts. Ain't nobody fucking with like some the of real the, the real survival food shit. Exactly. Pumpkin beans gone. Because, but you know what? That's my <laughs> trail <laughs> mix because we, we haven't been cultured to understand like really what survival is about. Mm -hmm. though, yeah, right. you know what I'm saying like what? So like perishable food items is what everybody went out and bought first. Oh yeah, everything that will like spoil quickly. So I got, got a can of case. Oh, uh, I got a case of like canned ravioli just chilling at the crib. At like, least yeah. I know my veggie burger's gonna last till 2024. Okay, <laughs> I'm like, I'm yeah. just saying, like, yeah, like, come on, man, we gotta. Man, look, niggas goofy. Hold <laughs> <laughs> on, oh, nah, niggas be ready. I bought my regular shit, like you know, I'm vegetarian, so shit. That's that's all. But that shit was in. Oh, it was all that stuff. Yeah, I'm saying it's all that stuff. I had to worry about this buying buying the stuff that I buy, but shit still in stock right now. Let me get this. I want to get this point across. What he was saying, like you know, he real big on the conspiracy shit. I don't believe in the the tin foil hat shit, but I mean it is government corruption. I mean you had um I can't name the names off the top, but you had like three senators, Republican senators. One of them, one was from Georgia. And her husband is like the CEO of the stock exchange. Like they was dumping well, stock mm. on February the thirteenth. Inside of trading action, nigga. Oh, they, and they got the store. Yeah, <laughs> got got booked. Yeah, yeah. They lined up for that, and that let you know that that obviously people in the government knew about it. They knew about the risk. They knew it was coming to this country. Yeah. So they definitely yeah. failed. They definitely motherfucking failed, man. And it's I just hope people just you don't have to you know think that Jesus coming back or you don't have to be like the doomsday preppers that they had did a you know profile on AL.com niggas got on gas masks and shit buying 10 pound bags of rice all of that you ain't got to be like that but just take the steps wash your hands eat take your vitamins take your vitamin C just stay at the house and just chill you know watch your, you know listen to the GI album listen to Eugene project listen to you know I got 17 more lined up Faze Octopus project <laughs> Listen to Tim talk some shit on Snapchat, you know. <laughs> just just chill, watch the movies, man, and, and just just let the shit blow by, man. Actually get to know your kids. That too. Yeah. That too. It's the first day of spring. Take them outside, you know. Not in the, you know, ride the bike around in the circumference of your house. <laughs> just let them go outside. Bonnie Bill's report with your kids, but 
Visit SignCodeSweet.com. Yeah, all of that. <laughs> yeah, 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 all of that, man. Hey, <laughs> Twitch.tv forward slash The Phasing Octopus. All of that. All of that, <laughs> man. But yeah. Shout out uh, to these comments. Let's see where we at with that, though. Before we keep moving. Yeah. Um, shout out to uh, D Skills. Shout out to uh, Rena Rena. A and M is mine. She said shout out. Oh, she said shout out for the shirt. Um, yes, that is an aluminum hat that Tim is wearing. <laughs> shout out to Wolf. Um, the home. Yeah, Courtney said that people buying tissue, not vitamins. She crazy. Um, we said she shit. agreed that it's one big experiment. Uh, shout out to the homie Matt Lay and shout out my nigga D Skills. He definitely is uh, like a nutritionist on the low. He said, "Bro, like bread go quick, so bad." I mean, bread go bad so quick. Yeah. <laughs> so. Wait yeah. up, man. Just segue into the new shit. Like, Trump, he been, he been fucking up bad, man. And this is an election year. I'm glad I, you know you here. So, more than likely, Joe Biden is going to win the Democratic oh. nomination. Yeah, he he already Biden. got it. He got it. Yeah. You know, he, he got it like a motherfucker. So, I just wanted to see how y'all feel about Joe Biden. He will be running against Trump, no doubt. You know, I know people, I know how people feel about Trump. Also saying how, I guess Trump got some new fans because they people think they're going to get a $1,000 check or whatever. <laughs> really gonna be oh, six, God, it's really so silly on the internet. Which yeah, is really, really going to be $600 if you don't make a certain, a certain amount. amount. Which really is $300 because they're going to cut the taxes out. Yeah. But whatever. No. But, and then you're going to get hit for it. Next thing going to tax you. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. So I just wanted to see, man, what y'all think about Joe Biden. Just keep it like do y'all what do y'all personally think about Joe Biden and do y'all actually think he got a shot of beating Trump? I don't personally think about Joe Biden, but no, nah, I get it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> you stupid. Nah, I'm just saying, like, even the, the thing idea about of the like <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't really, I hate to say I don't care, because I do care to a certain degree, but um, I don't have, I'm indifferent towards Joe Biden, um, at this point it's like, hey, how much worse can we do, <laughs> we got Trump in there, but not even saying that, see Trump is not even the source of the problem, he's just the vocal piece that expresses what the problem truly is. Hold on, let me, let me amend this too, like. What y'all, how, how, how important do y'all feel voting would be this year? Well, vote, voting is important, nigga, period. Gonna be able to vote <laughs> yes, nigga. Yes. Niggas gonna be able to get out the house to the booth? That's, <laughs> that's a great that's, point. That's actually <laughs> a very hey, valid point. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna tell you now. Are you gonna be able to go to the voting booth? <laughs> wait till you get your, wait till you get your goddamn Facebook ballot. <laughs> it's coming. Your Facebook ballot. Right. Hey, we should have invested in that um, global coin that we was talking about. I have. Oh, no, no, I need the link. Yeah, I, we'll talk about that. Yeah. But yeah. Listen, oh, man. Yeah. Um, they polls decent. Yeah, so as far as Joe Biden, right? Um, And even the amended part, right? Um, I honestly don't think it's important right now. It probably was two years ago. Um, Because we probably could have had a better control on this. Um, if the app proper action was taken. Um... And honestly, like I said, the job of the president, in my mind, is to speak. Um, Trump just says all the wrong things when he speaks. I feel like Joe Biden would be a cookie cutter presenter of the content when he speaks. Um, but I do believe, hell, anybody can get a better staff around him than what Trump got right now. Um, <laughs> It takes some doing to fuck up a staff. You fuck up a whole government staff? Like, come on, bro. Like, that's how long? They, that's that's because they robbing the country blind. But oh yeah, I mean, they, yeah. we knew that from day one when um, what her name is, Melina, uh, Malaria. What his wife name is? Melania. <laughs> yeah, Melania. Uh, Melania. When she had her fucking diamond website on the uh, advertisement on the White House. Dot com official website for the Everybody White House. Everybody don't know that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But. I was like, yeah, oh, no. oh yeah, we done for. This is a money grab. No, it's, that was like, right. oh, after the inauguration, the, she was selling the diamonds on the, official, on the official White House website. Come on, man. Like, 
I knew from then that that was done for. Um, all this is a money grab. All of it is a money grab. But as far as the voting shit, um, <laughs> not this time. Um, a little too late, too late for that. But in two years, what about local voting? fuck they gonna do right now um maybe so but here's the thing i don't even think local voting plays a part right now because everybody is looking at this big idea of biden or bernie or whoever versus trump um but i don't think there, there's enough enough research being done down here on the local level i'm talking about people in our even, local communities like in our local community for sure but i'm just saying like that <clears throat> I think people will get in from the people who normally vote. Those elections are more pivotal for me two years from now when we can put in place, if I'm not mistaken, Senate's House and give that direction and that attention to a local level. Um, because the president's campaigns on both sides overshadow everything right now. Um, it's hard to pay attention to that and to watch out for the coronavirus and sanitize every time after you touch something right now. I don't think that the local voting even matters at this point, but two years from now, it will definitely matter because whoever wins this needs to have a, a climate change, not a climate change, but a shift in power. And the way that it's done is by voting in those local elections and those lower elections like Senate, House, and all of that. But I think that happens two years from now, if I'm not mistaken. Oh. Or Doug Jones is up for, um we run for re-election in November, but we, we come back to I, I think yeah. this gonna happen. It's gonna be a mandatory vaccine. Yeah, that may be a thing. We, we, yeah, we everybody get it. got it to you, Gi. Uh, what's the question about? Um, what you think about Joe Biden, man? Joe and, Biden, and also like how, how important do you feel that voting will be this year? So I mean, I always On feel like local level, or, you know, I always feel like voting is important, but um. I um I'm not I'm not a big Joe Biden fan to be honest. Um I understand so so there there's a popular narrative amongst uh establishment Democrats that says that Joe Biden is more electable <laughs> than um Bernie Sanders. And I think that the only reason why Joe Biden is perceived as more electable is because um for, for whatever reason, people who would support Bernie Sanders don't vote, right? They don't vote. I, I, I was saying this before um, we, we went through the uh, primary season here in Alabama is that the only way that Bernie Sanders can win, and he understands this, is to change the electorate, right? Like he has to turn out new voters because if we go with the voting establishment that happens right now, there's literally no way he could win. So he has to turn out new voters. That's literally the way that Barack Obama won. That's the way that Trump won. It's changing the yeah. electorate, right? Because yeah. they couldn't predict. They thought they knew what the numbers were, and Hillary looked like she was going to skate to the <laughs> win. Trump changed the electorate. People who typically didn't come out and vote yeah. or didn't vote yes. the way that they yeah. thought they would vote voted. Yeah. In. So when yeah. you when you change the, the electorate landscape, it becomes unpredictable, and that is the only way I think that Trump can be beaten is because we have to defy, and I say we as in people who are sane and understand that <laughs> President Trump is an idiot, we have to defy what the numbers say and change what the electorate looks like. Right. That's literally the only path to victory is like unpredictability because as much of a, uh, I don't like to use the word idiot because I do think that he has a lot of uh, things that he's doing purposefully. Um, as much of a wild card and like loose cannon as President Trump seems to be, he understands numbers, right? And so he understands what his path to victory is. And so you have to do something, we were talking about chess earlier, you have to do something that someone who sees the board is not expecting. You gotta do somewhere it's like, wait a minute, that defies like every convention of what I thought was going to yeah. That's the only way you beat somebody who's played the game so many times is to do something unconventional. Yeah. So you need a Bernie Sanders in there. You need uh, an Elizabeth Warren. You need someone mm -hmm. who changes the dynamic and it's like, now I don't know how to fight this, right? Like, that's why they um, they feel like, uh, you know, those monks that have like the, the crate, like um, 
Bruce Lee, like he always say, like the, the famous quote from Bruce Lee is like, "What's your style?" He's like, "It's the art of your fighting style. without fight." He's like, "I don't have a style, right?" Because yeah. like, if you know what my style is, you can combat that. So it's like, "All right, cool. I'm not coming at you with no style. I'm gonna throw whatever I can just conjure up I'm off my." Yeah. And that's how you consistently win is to always change the rules of the game yeah. every single time, yep. right? And Constant so like, iteration. And and the problem is from a perspective of. Um, trying to beat an established candidate like Trump now, who is the incumbent, is that if you keep coming at him with the same playbook, it's like, all right, I've seen that play, I know exactly what to do. Yeah. It's like playing somebody on Madden, they run the same three plays over and over again. It's like, bro, like, you, yeah. ran, you just ran this play. User pick. Right. It's a <laughs> user pick. Yeah. yeah. It's like, I, I've seen this before over yeah. and over. I know how to beat this. So you have to, and, and to me, Joe Biden is the same playbook. It's oh, the exact 100%. same playbook over and over again. And that's not a way to win. That's not a formula to me for success. Yeah. Um, number one, because the um, the people who are Sanders, you know, the Sanders camp, they're petty enough to just not vote at all. Just yeah. They got to win. So they Bernie like, Bros. Right. The Bernie. Bernie they call the Bernie Bros. Like they they don't. I don't think they have the numbers because they can't retain the Bernie Bros. And then they don't they don't inspire a new electorate. So it's like you where where, where you get the numbers from? They just it doesn't exist. Um, so for that reason and that reason alone, well, not that reason alone, but that primary reason, I just don't know that he's the answer to defeating Trump in the, because Trump ain't losing no support. Like, let's be real. Mm. Nah. He gave, he gave a big A $1.5 trillion tax break. So he definitely, you know, people might say, yeah, that motherfucker crazy, but they still you know, don't vote. says local voting doesn't matter. Oh no, she's just probably looking at me sideways. Yeah, no, nah, she's being sarcastic. Oh, okay, because yeah, I was yeah, yeah she's just yeah, <laughs> fucking with him. But okay, so what about the local, <laughs> the local election? <laughs> and yes, yeah, so um, I'm not the Jones fan either. So, um, so I mean, to me, the, the issue that exists, and this is why you know people like my man Eugene continue to to, to ignore the the, the the legislative process or the, the the voting process, is because we don't put up candidates. <laughs> So the candidates that I feel have viable messages and, and paths to like actually change systems. The monkeys running through your head. We don't. Um, <laughs> we, we don't. We, we don't put enough energy behind those people, and we end up getting what we get, right? Which right. is more of the same stuff. Like, and to me, Doug Jones is more of the same stuff. Like, like you think about the past two years since he was elected. Like, what has he done from a legislator? Because you have to think about what his what his, his goal is, which is he's a legislator. What has he done from a legislative standpoint that has been beneficial for the electorate in which put him in there? He's been very re reactionary, but not proactive. And like, he only go with what the nation goes. Exactly. And he don't have any innovative ideas. Nothing at all. In it's Alabama, is, I mean, the, the soil is fertile here for innovative ideas. But And that's, and that's, that's my problem is that like, when you have someone who, and and, and I'm, I don't want to speak as if he's not well-meaning, yeah. but if you're if you're not in there actually changing stuff around and like coming there and, and really upsetting the apple cart, which I feel like he just came in there, he was like he was just happy to be there, and that's not what we need. You know what I'm saying? Hey, like, how y'all doing? Yeah, like we don't need that though. We don't need the glad hands and trying to like maneuver it's a great and party, dodge. Huh? <laughs> like, no, bro. Like you, you, so you really had two years to come in here and like do something wow. significant, and he didn't do that to me. Like there was like I can't point to a significant thing that he right. did. Um, now that's not to say that I want Tommy Tuberville or uh, friggin' uh, Jeff Sessions. Seth, this is probably gonna be tough. Well, I mean, it's I mean, like it. literally, they had to vote between uh, Democrat and what was that? Rapist? <laughs> oh, you, you talking about Roy Moore? No. You talking about, yes, you talking about? that was the choice between Roy yeah. Moore and um, Doug, Doug Jones. Jones. Yeah, yeah, so I'm just saying, like, oh, Doug Jones, do you yeah. really feel like he would have been there without so Roy Moore's fuck up to begin with? I mean, I, so so, <laughs> now, uh, so here's the thing that people don't understand about. I think he wrote it. Let, <laughs> let's, let's, let's look guns. at what, what Alabama politics boils down to, right? So let's take it outside of the Electoral College. Let's look at just the state of Alabama, right? The um, most densely populated areas in Alabama are Birmingham, Huntsville, Mobile, Montgomery. Montgomery yeah. Those are all predominantly black <coughs> cities, except for Huntsville. Like, but like, it's a lot of black people who claim to be democratic leaning in their thought process. But only like 18% turn out to vote. 
right? So like, I I'm talking about uh, eligible voters, right? Yeah. If we could get closer to 60 to 70% of those people actually going to the polls on a consistent basis, the electorate looks completely different for the state. Not to mention the black belt, was, which is a large black population. Right. They moved a lot of their voting booths too. You know, the gerrymandering going on. Oh, yeah. No, that's too. It's a whole other situation yeah. we can talk about. Yeah. Like, yeah. But again, that, that goes back yeah. to something we were talking about before the pilot, see, before you got here. It's like, I, I just don't fundamentally believe that voting doesn't matter if people fight so adamantly against that right. Right? Like, I just, if, if you're fighting so hard to stop people from doing a thing, how can that thing not matter? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I. Again, I, I get anybody who says they don't have faith in the electoral college, so I don't vote him. I don't care about presidential elections. I can see that. I, I'm actually not a fan of the electoral college. Like I, I, I can't find one credible thing that says yeah. this is a viable reason to continue to it's use this system. System. Right. The, the system doesn't make sense. Right. But that's not the case when we talk about senator, mayor, yeah. um, uh, <coughs> councilman. Like all of those are popular votes, right? So like it, yeah. it's it's literally a turnout game. It's how many people come and vote. And if we only have 18, 16, like in the teens of percentages, maybe even into the mid 20s sometimes of turnout, like that's not enough to say I've played the game and the game doesn't work. Like if we're saying the game doesn't work, like when's the last time you played it? Yeah. yeah. It's like the game ain't broken if you ain't playing it. It's, it's doing what it's supposed to do, sit on the shelf. You know you so, um, so if you're if, like, and you literally will never win until you get into the game and the, our, our faults as a community as if we're talking about black um, people as a community is that we refuse to play the game and then say the game is rigged against us it's like you haven't even started playing see my thing is, is that people aren't taught how to properly vote that's I don't what disagree I've been with saying that. The whole, the whole I don't time. disagree with that at yeah, all. I think, no. I think education of the electorate is the biggest issue that we have when it talk when we talk about actually moving. The, so if we can get an actual movement to change the electorate, I guarantee you, you'll see how poor, important voting is. Because then they'll start changing. They'll be like, "Hold on, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah. what are they mm -hmm. doing? Like they actually mm -hmm. exercising rights. Like we gotta fix. Like then they're gonna try to change the rules again. Then you'll we, understand. Yeah, that's what see, you people. Know, they started that when Obama got reelected. Correct. You know, with Shelby County versus you know the one hundred percent. They but, they started trying to yeah. uh, come up with a hope. Like that's why they um they started trying to reinstitute like um changes in like like photo, just photo ID. removing people off of rolls yeah, and like trying hard. to make, because they because they realized. It was a mobilization of people who we had not anticipated coming out and so once it becomes at once you move outside of the bounds of their anticipation then you get into a space where they feel uncomfortable and it's like okay now we gotta i gotta regain control in some sort of way mm -hmm. um and but that's that's incumbent upon us to make them say i i need to make another move. if you don't force the other man to move like i ain't gotta move I, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna keep doing what works and until you make me change my perspective like I don't have to show you my next move wow. Alan Ivers gonna cross you over every time down court it's like stop the crossover well I gotta show you another move and stop yeah. this one yeah. exactly yeah. Yeah. three man play <laughs> <laughs> same principle in fighting man, look. exactly yeah yeah you know I don't follow these old white folks. <laughs> 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 I love Tim. Yeah. That's my yeah. nigga. I don't follow these old white folks. Last time I voted was for, for Obama, dog. Like, First time. That's because right. my mama didn't want me to vote. Like, on some real niggas. You were supposed to. And it felt kind of good to, like, because you know you grew up, my nigga. Let's just be real, bro. All our heroes got smacked up. Factual. Well, it was Malcolm, Martha, uh, Martin, uh, well, or, or the or the neighborhood dope dealer. Like every every Everybody, single person who had some sort of power. You know what yeah. happened if you were hometown hero, dog. If you the people's champ, I mean, you get smacked the fuck up. Like I asked somebody this shit, I said, yeah, I take a bullet for Eddie, I take a bullet for DJ. I don't know you like that, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Corey and so forth. For but, sure. Damn, what's to say? I take a bullet for everybody in the stream, and you, my nigga. I'm willing to take a bullet. For right. Okay, so I take that bullet, but y'all still do the same shit. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You feel me? So, I mean, like, man, it is what it is. Like, voting is important, dog. But until people get that shit, man, like, and like I got a kid now, so I do see shit different. You know what I'm saying? I see future shit different. But, like, just look at what's going on right now, my nigga. So, let's say we did, didn't have Trump and we had Hillary in that bitch, but this shit went on still. 
with with the current situation like, yeah, happening yeah, yeah, with Hillary. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like <clears throat> that's a good question. So like that's a very good question. And then how like wish you wish you would have like reacted to like who back in January like COVID. Like I play like even though people say you can't dwell on the past. You know what I'm saying? The past helps you move towards the future. It's 100. You know what Trying I'm saying? Cold. History. That's what history. Yeah, man. So history. Somebody's telling the story. His story. You know what I'm saying? So, so here, here's what I'll say about this. What I'll say in, in response to that. I'm not saying that that you know coronavirus wouldn't have happened and the response wouldn't have been better if Hillary was president. I actually do believe the response would have been better. Um, I do. I think the strategy would have changed. So like if we're talking about um, like let let's separate political maneuverings from financial institutions right like even though i know that those are are well knit together right like money is really what moves in power right um but we don't we don't even have economic sense so like it's, it's like we, we refuse to play one game but we're ignoring the other game that matters too it's like if we ain't gonna control no money and we ain't gonna control the vote like what are we gonna do like we gotta we gotta figure out which one of these games we want to get into because those are really the only games that are going and you which, sucked into the games anyway right so, so like, why not play them your 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 choices are <laughs> be politically engaged be economically engaged or do both right and black people have refused to do either right like we've been shut out of both games and we refuse to kick the door in on either one of them. And it doesn't make any sense. It's like at some point we have to decide either we are going to continue to let the world dictate to us how things are going to happen or we're going to start to dictate some things ourselves. And we just refuse to do it. We just won't do it because in our minds, ah, man, it ain't never going to work. It's like, bro, like at some point we got to decide we're tired of getting kicked around. That's what I was saying. Like, because Obama became president, it's like saying like, damn, then here you go again. Right. That's a hero that didn't get smacked. That didn't get smacked. But so, you know what I'm saying? And it make it possible. So if you see like Obama get his black ass in the office for eight years, you know you got a voice, my nigga. I'm straight. But see, that, that that that's exactly what I mean, though. Like when black people decided we was going to activate, something happened. Now, I'm not saying Obama changed the landscape of political like as we see, he didn't really change nothing because we got Trump. But, <laughs> but the but, minute that we decided we were going to do something, something different happened. Yeah. But the check this out, minute. though. But how would you would have felt? Think about, like, the average nigga, bro. Like, when you look, this shit, like, to me, politics and religion got a lot. All right, my nigga, simple as this. Like, <laughs> here you go. Activate it. When you get, <laughs> get I ain't saying like your job like this, but the yeah. average job a nigga like me or just somebody like in this room will go to, bro. It ain't no black person giving it to you. It's a white person. You feel what I'm I saying? Job too, yeah. And it's always a white person saying, hey, you know, you stupid fucking fuck the company. You can move up. I mean, let's start up with the company back in 05 and look at me now. I'm giving you the interview. Yup. Let me ask you something. Do you feel more comfortable with a black doctor telling you got cancer or a white doctor telling you got cancer? It's both fucked up, whoever I telling you you got cancer. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> but for a nigga to be like, bro, you got cancer, but I think I got some shit that can help you out. Versus, well, buddy, you got cancer, and here's your options. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Some shit, if it's a black man giving me the interview, if it's a black man running for my country, let me get a both of this nigga. I don't know what the fuck he got going on, but shit, he looks like <coughs> on. Yeah. Versus this old bitch that wear wigs and this goddamn Cheetos hot fries ass nigga. No, I'm not going to vote, my nigga. I'm sorry, bro. Like, why? I the mean, same pale bitches ain't did shit for us and ain't gonna do shit for us. And this nigga probably ain't gonna do shit for us, but fuck it, he look good in the goddamn tailor suit and his wife got some thick ass hips. I'm just saying. Yeah. No, I mean that. The look. kids look good, ain't nobody fucking with the girls. R. Kelly, I dare you. It's <laughs> Bombs. <laughs> you, gotta love, you gotta love this thing. One more time, Eddie, can I go Man. back? Can I go back? Don't cut it, dick. Oh, oh, no. Fuck what I was about to say. Yo. DJ. What's up with DJ? What are we talking about? Yeah. <laughs> Man, what are we talking about? Bite, bite, bite. All right, and, and vote, Man. All right. <laughs> So first off, uh, yeah, nah, Joe Biden Ooh, trash. Um, <coughs> like, <laughs> damn. <laughs> <laughs> damn, you gotta go behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to see next season? Hey, next nah, season, I, had, I, had, I had a whole, I had a whole, <laughs> <laughs> I had a whole joke. So, like, <laughs> with the uh, fucking uh, 
You can catch me skating through your town, putting it down. Like politics is you. You you know what I'm saying? Like I had a whole joke set up. This nigga, he killed. (laughs) Go for it. (laughs) But no, but like you know what I'm saying? It's politics is you. It's Joe Biden. Like uh, once you saw. Like, everybody started coming up up on his ass, like, fucking Gallagher, you know what I'm saying? When you get the extra shit. Mm-hmm. And, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, it's, okay, so I, I don't mean to cut you off, but that's what I was saying last time when I was coming about, like, notice how people were just suspending their campaigns as opposed to, like, dropping out of the race. Yeah. Right? So, like, what happens? I don't know if, if people on the list now, or y'all even know, like, when you suspend your campaign, right, like, if you don't officially drop it, so how it works with primaries, right, is, like, there's a delegate count, similar to the Lake Coral College, right? Like, so, if, uh, like, say all of us are running for president, right, and, and I won the race in a particular state, but you got a couple of electors, you got a couple of, uh, or delegates, I should say, you got a couple, but y'all both suspend your campaigns. We split you, them whole. No, you don't lose your delegates. Yeah. Your delegates stay with mm-hmm. you because technically your campaign is still active, right? If you drop out of the race, they automatically come to me because I won. Yeah. So when, so when I knew they were setting up the DNC Sanders. trash, when, they dog. Were, when, I, when I knew they were setting up Sanders for the Okie Doke, dog. is when everybody started suspending their yeah. campaign but not no. dropping out. I was like, they Man. trying to prevent, because Bernie had won the earlier states. Yeah. They was trying to prevent him from getting additional delegates. So he would lose when it came for the dog. DNC. So I was like, oh. The DNC trash, that's dog. The and then everybody just fall in line. And that's what that's what, that's what upset me about, um like, what's her name, Tulsi? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like like she, she just hung out. She literally just chilled for a minute, but then when she finished, she 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 originally she um uh, like officially ended her campaign like this week, this week, yeah. and she endorsed Joe Biden. Yeah, yes, yeah. Uh, I was like, no, what? everybody that's dropping out and doing Joe Biden, same except for Elizabeth who Warren, who just, the just DNC like I four years ago because of how they treated Joe Biden. Same woman, Bernie Sanders. Yeah. So for how they treated yeah, Bernie Sanders, yeah. and she endorsed Joe. I was like, man. Well, you know, they, 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 you know, they, they, they made a promise. Do you think you can catch me skating through your town? That's what I'm saying. Like, like, y'all relate. And, bro, I was like, oh, he ain't gonna make it. Bro. He ain't got no shot. Like, bro, let me ask you this, the bro. Like, like you just said, politics is usual, my nigga. Like, I ain't even saying Obama. Like, you feel what I'm saying? But, bro, like, look at what they did to Larry, my nigga, for some fucking cufflinks and a couple of, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, <laughs> man, I ain't he's fact supposed though. to stay in Birmingham with the shit. He went to, like, one of the whitest fucking towns there is, my nigga. It ain't no nigga statue in, in, in Tuscaloosa. Besides a dog getting ate off his ass. Like, I'm, about his, his, his I'm just, case. I'm just, yeah, my nigga, like, stay in the ham with the shit. We gonna prolong it. They said he was gonna be biased. That's why they moved. Man, right? fuck the all that. I did the crime here, my nigga. Put, punish me here. You feel me? Don't punish me in the state where don't nobody fucking know me or a city. That's crazy as shit. That's crazy, bro. He they can't... all do slime shit, bro. I'm telling you. Like, yeah. I feel what you're saying about whoever old girl is, like, supporting the other nigga, but I'm guaranteeing you she was forced to do that shit, bro. Yeah. I mean, I'm just saying, like, if I. But so, again, in, in my purview, the minute I saw. Um, People like uh, Buttigieg and uh, Kamala, yeah, Kamala and Corey. But when I saw them suspend their campaigns rather than just like declare the end of the campaign, not even just stay in the race, but just say like I'm out. Suspending your campaigns means you. I was like, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. No, you, you just holding on to a space, no, bro. <laughs> like no, like you just you occupying the space, yeah. taking up space. I was like, yeah, yeah. Okay, like, yeah about, Cause yeah. so they, they get to stay on the ballot, right? Mm-hmm. So like, so people who would vote one way or the other, I was like, I don't yeah, yeah, no, no bro, yeah. yeah. I feel it's some fishy about no, that. No, but like when, when you all started endorsing him, I was like, oh. But no, know. like when you, you should already know what was gonna happen from last time. Like Bernie got fucked last. Like you know what I'm saying? Bernie got fucked last time. Yeah. Remember they gonna when? fuck him again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like Simple. they gonna keep fucking him. So like I, I will because he I, I say this he not the Bernie part Sanders of the system. see like. Again, the, the problem with Bernie to me is not his politics. It's really not. It's it's um who he appeals to yeah. don't participate. Yeah. And because those people don't participate, they don't turn out in enough numbers, he can never win. Yeah. And it's not because he doesn't have good ideas. They supported him online on right. Twitter and shit, exactly. but they didn't go to the they didn't go to the booth. And 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 I mean it's not even like a, a millennial thing. Like 
Like, I don't, it's, that's not an age thing. Like, it literally spans generations of people who are anti establishment, mm -hmm. anti system that refuse to participate, but they support the the uh, the agenda. The yeah. Right. It's like, I'm with you until it's time to put some action in. Yeah. Like, right, so, sign this. I got to go to work. Right. And, <laughs> for real, for real. So that, real. that essentially about. becomes the problem. Is like, okay, that sounds real cool, but how you going to do it? All right, let me just see first. It's like, bro, you can't, some stuff you can't just see first. You, you know, got to go out there and get it. You know what I'm saying? You got to, you have to make those things happen. And until that segment of the, uh, the electorate decides that they're going to make things happen, we're going to continue to get what we get. Like this Biden dude, Obama, ex- uh, VP, yeah. Okay, yeah, so I check this out. <clears throat> Most niggas like niggas probably been like, man, who that Biden dude? It's it's, it's uh, no, it's straight it's up one hundred straight up name recognition. Yeah. That's why he got That's the old folk. That's why he got the old folk. That's why he got the old folk. Like 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 I really feel like Trump gonna win. It's gonna be a tight ass race if we get a chance to vote. Man. Throw that in there. <laughs> Which is I don't think. So if we gotta wait that long, bro, y'all know we gonna have to stop working. Side note. Oh, see, look, man. But listen, that's a whole other stream. That'll man. probably be like season three. I read so much, like, fucking, like, I read, watch. I just consume so much post apocalyptic media. I'm gonna start working out. <laughs> like, that all this shit is just, I've seen Plans. this shit come. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've but seen this shit come. That, like, this gonna be a good ass <laughs> race if Obama keep his notice around. Have he haven't endorsed anybody. Oh no. yeah, no. Yeah. No, he he he, re he refused. Like, I mean, he, and he did the same thing last time around. He he doesn't in, he doesn't actually endorse a candidate until they win the primary. Like, he'll stand yeah. behind whoever the, yeah. the Democratic yeah. candidate is, but he tries not to jump into the primary race. This yeah. is a smart nigga. Yeah. Well, I was about to say, I do this, I would do the exact same thing. I ain't even really <laughs> I'm sorry, out of that. Man, I'm, I'm so happy you here, man. <laughs> Y'all niggas know how I feel. I, think, I be talking yeah. about every episode, but you know, I'm you, glad you speaking you know. for this nigga tonight. Yeah, because I, like, I ain't got to say shit. But right. I'm, Corey yeah. had like this nigga spit. He really just hosted it. Like, all right, here goes some yeah. more topics. I'm, I'm, I'm just bringing the ball down the court. Baby. <laughs> you know, for real. I'm just, hey, but what I will say, man, Alabama, <clears throat> bring back to Alabama. Alabama is a microcosm of what's going on abroad. For the for the presidential election, I say that because you got Doug Jones, which you can you can parallel in a sense to Joe Biden. Yeah, going against fucking Coach Tuberville from Auburn. <laughs> Bro, you know, Coach like, first off, he a character just like Trump. It's, it's like it's like a, it's like a fucking microcosm. They really they really voted a football coach. War damn eagle. I mean, did you Nick, did you did you all see any of them commercials? I seen the Jeff Sessions commercial. Against Tuberville commercial, was it a football commercial? No, yeah, so yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, that nigga was like, "Oh, that nigga live in Florida, dog." Mm -hmm. Like that nigga friend. Then up dude, Bill Byrne, he had a commercial where he had a yeah Bradley Byrne, he had the commercial in which he had the Tuberville was had on the headset <laughs> and all the shirt in the goddamn commercial. That was crazy. Hey, he tried getting the roll tire holders. Yeah, of course. <laughs> but it didn't work. Yeah, didn't work. Oh, but he definitely is not in the run. <laughs> when it come to, when it come to Biden, man, I can he just a he's a politician's politician. Like, yeah, with, with, you know, I'm a, your favorite rapper's favorite rapper. For real, simple for as real. that, man. You know, he gonna play ball with with the big lobbyists. He gonna take them bags. He gonna you know he gonna take financing from Michael Bloomberg. The nigga he Batman ain't used to win, so don't worry about. It. <laughs> <laughs> he, he gonna well he gonna That's win if, if people don't vote for Doug Jones. I, I, I just replied to us like unless he's playing Bama because he has a, his winning record against them. I'm sorry. Hey, that bias yeah, came yeah, through. Yeah, I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Anyway, oh, but that would make you vote for Tuberville. Though. Not at all. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he, ain't, he ain't slow. Not at all. <laughs> but see, man, yeah. No. Bring it to bring it back locally. Why it's important, man? That motherfuckers vote. We got lobbyists in Alabama that that's doing whatever the fuck they want to do. You you got people that was politicians that went to being lobbyists, going back to being politicians, and they literally passed a, a law in place in the state where you can do that. Then you know we talk about shit like the coronavirus. We know it started from niggas eating raw, raw bats and, and rats and all types of bullshit. Where you have trash companies like picking up waste from New York, grinding it down on a train to the state of Alabama, 
putting it in Jefferson County and, and, and the other surrounding counties and they not putting tarps on it because they don't want to spend the money to, to to put the tarps on it. So rats eating all this different waste and they going out in the communities, that could cause a fucking local virus. And they getting away with it because, you know, the people not paying attention to this. They not paying attention to what's going on in Montgomery, let alone what's going on in Washington. You got the Porch Creek Indians you know, trying to steal Christmas in the state. Yeah. They the reason why, you know, it ain't, ain't no lotto in the state. And now they trying to monopolize the gaming industry in the whole fucking state. It's local shit. Then you get in that's Alabama. The crazy. So, man, I'm sorry. I don't mean to cut you. That's the craziest thing in the world to me is that somehow we have allowed casinos to exist in the state of Alabama. No lotto. Decades. No lotto. But somehow... We've also concurrently said that gambling is not like how are both of these things? Oh, Birmingham awesome. race no. and the around for loophole. But I'm saying, but like, if, if if people are so against this, how do those things exist? No, mental gymnastics, bro. Like, <laughs> and, and it's not political apathy. Hey, man, no. Political <laughs> apathy. Don't get the lottery this said. year, my nigga. I'm gonna shoot you. <laughs> Catch it, dog. No. I worked, I worked at Victory Land for like a day. Yeah. <laughs> for like a day? For a day. Yeah. Oh, yeah, nah, because they sent us down there to help the team out and shit. Like, nah, nigga, I've been doing it for LA for like 12 years. I done did all the time. Man, look, check this. Nigga, if you know how to get, like... Yeah, I used to valet too. No, nigga, I'm going to tell you this. If you just know how basic that shit is, yeah. like, you can just get free money. Yeah. Like, that's the only reason I do the shit. <laughs> yeah. He ain't lying, dog. Yeah. He looks like a dope boy coming up out there. <laughs> I, I, seen, I seen him with the fold over bill. He got him in uh, the separate <laughs> sections. And I, I seen it. Yeah, man. But voting locally is important. But Doug Jones is, like I say, he parallel to, to, to Joe Biden. Doug Jones' claim to fame was that he was a prosecutor in the Four Little Girls case. Yeah. And, you know. It's, it's ironic. Ja then, uh, James Cherry's still on death row, but the cat from Ansley, he got, bro. you know, he got killed before James Cherry, but we're not going to get into that. And Doug Jones got exposed yeah, when he know, went yeah, up yeah, against yeah. Roy Moore. In yeah, 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 and yeah, yeah. But all, all I'm saying is, man, like, Alabama's last education. Like, something yeah, so, needs to be done. So that's why I feel bro. like people yeah, need to. But so, so, but th this is the thing I think that frustrates me, right? So, like, Doug Jones is a high profile situation, but, like, let's look at. Thankfully, it didn't pass, but you know, like the um the amendment that was on the last amendment about, one. yes about um trying to education oh, change your board of education, yeah. right? So like those those are the things. So we literally said, I'm, I'm, this is what just happened. We said in the state of Alabama, no, we don't want the governor to appoint the board of education, which I was in favor for. I did not vote for yeah. that amendment. Which means that we want ourselves to vote who's going to be our representative for the Board of Education for our <laughs> respective districts. Still but we gonna. won't educate ourselves on who that person is going to be. Still not going to. That don't make sense to me. It's this like, motherfucker spent for real. That don't make shit. sense to me, bro. Like It's like we don't want to pay attention to the actual stuff that matters. But then we say, ah, I don't take away my right to tell you I. I'm about to stand up in church because I mean, <laughs> this is this is how I feel. Like I ain't gotta, you know, I ain't gotta <laughs> yeah. say nothing. Like for real, man. But in the COVID nineteen section, please stand. This nigga stupid. <laughs> man, let, let me talk about some political levity. Like, cause levity is much needed. Like this nigga, he can he kind of getting all scot free because of the shit that's going on. But motherfuckers been paying attention. They know, fucking uh, Andrew Gill. Oh, he ain't man, free, bro. Like, but you know, I'm, I'm, I mean, if if this shit was going on, they would. Oh yeah, no, it, 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 it definitely be a whole, yeah. Yeah, yeah. About that black dude in Florida. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Andrew Gillum, he man. definitely would be getting roasted a lot fucking, harder if it went for yeah. all this going on. Fucking Andrew Gillum, the, the ex mayor of Tallahassee, like went to fam. You HBCU no. representative went to fam. Went to fam. Was he one of the drummers? This is stupid. Man. I don't know, but. <laughs> He was the mayor of, of, of Tallahassee. He ran for the, the governorship of, of Florida, you know, in, in 2018. And he lost by like 32,000 votes. He was in Miami a couple of weeks ago. He was supposed to be down there to, to like preside over a wedding or whatever. And he found, you know, they found him in a hotel room with a male <coughs> prostitute and another person, you know, drunk as hell, crystal meth. 
everybody, you know, throwing up. God you know, the the, the male Party prostitutes say he had been on Gilliam for years. You know, you can say he had been on it for years or whatever. This so I'm like, like man, <laughs> it, it was, it looked very awkward, fucking awkward in a motherfucker. And my people from fam, you know, I hit them up and they was like, man, they was hearing rumors that, you know, he had been like that. But it, he just had an arrangement with his wife. Cause you know how poli- you know, politicians, you know, they have arrangements yeah. that go all the way back through the ages of time. Franklin D. Roosevelt and Eleanor Roosevelt. Eleanor Roosevelt was a known, like lesbian, but you know it made sense or whatever. So I don't know if you know he had. An, I don't know how true that that is, but that's what my people from fam told me. Like, oh, so oh like, uh, y'all think <laughs> he can come back from this shit? Like he went in after the whole situation happened. The question. <laughs> after the whole situation <laughs> happened, he said he gonna go in rehab for drinking. He didn't address at all that he was in a hotel room with a. A male prostitute and that the male prostitute had known him for years he didn't dr- address none of that he just said he was drinking he didn't do christmas meth that's so, what he said but i want to know he, he, you he, think, here's my thing about that here my, I don't, i'm sorry I'm go we go, go 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 for it I mean, uh, <laughs> Hey, you feel? Hey, you, you feel it? Yeah. 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 That's why. Hey, that's why you here. Yeah. That's why so here. here's the thing. Like, let, let's talk about. I, oh, you want? <laughs> I understand. I understand the political climate around how we want our politicians to be squeaky clean or whatever, right? But like, let's let's talk about what Andrew did, and I don't mean addressing by first name like we don't. <laughs> let, let, let's talk about what my boy Drew did. That was actually illegal, right? Let's talk about the, the legality of anything. Did he pay for a prostitute? Because if he didn't, like just because the guy works as a prostitute didn't. doesn't mean that he exchanged money with him, right? So him being in Thanks a hotel facts. room with another man is not illegal. It might be a problem for a lot of people, yeah. but there's nothing that's illegal about it. We just facts had, facts. We just yeah. had yeah. Buttigieg run for president and he is an yeah. open homosexual, right? So like, there's not an actual legality issue here. Okay, so he was intoxicated. He didn't drive anywhere intoxicated. It's not illegal to be intoxicated. It's illegal to drive while intoxicated. He wasn't in a public place. He was in a hotel, so it's not even public intoxication, right? He's in a hotel room doing some stuff, right? All I'm saying is you can crucify him for a lot of things. (laughs) None of that stuff is actually illegal. So why is this a problem? Mm. The only person who should have a problem with any of this is his wife. None of that is illegal, though. <laughs> it's nasty, it but it ain't illegal. I'm glad y'all hear that it may, on the mic. That's a little. It may imply sodomy. <laughs> <laughs> it might imply it. <laughs> I mean, but I'm, I'm saying it's two homosexual people having sex. What do you think is happening in this Are situation? <laughs> Hey, oh, we talking about legality of things. No, no. I'm just saying. <laughs> that's that's that's. Well, hey, hold on, hold up. That's well played. That's well played because the nigga's still a politician. He didn't yeah. pay for the room. He didn't pay for the pros- prostitute. That's the. They say the other person that was in the room did all that. Right. And so here's my thing. It's like they're, they're well like played, yeah. they found him. Who is they? Yeah. Who is and them? Who they? found him in a hotel room? Like he got set up. Apparently, somebody called nine one one. He got set up. Oh no! The competition. (laughs) The competition. Yeah. Competition. He got set up, bro. Like, and that's what I'm saying. Like, but again, it's like if you are gonna set him up, set him up for something. Like, it's meant to be a scandal. Yeah. Like that's oh, that's one trillion percent. Because there's he. What is he gonna go to jail for? So it's like we we are. We're questioning someone's ability to be a public figure based upon him doing things in his personal life. That yeah, no. Nah. Yeah. No, nah, that nigga like that nigga like to get what wild. Fuck that shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does that mean that he's a like? I, I guess he's not the golden boy that you thought he was. But yeah, like, oh, no. Who is our president? What right that nigga now? policies about though? Who is our president <laughs> right now? Like, are we really trying to? Yeah. We we trying to subject people to moral standards now? All of a sudden. When did this become a thing? When did moral standards become a thing when we have a history of immorality? I'm I, I'm, I'm glad. Exactly. 100% because he's black. Yeah, oh, like, you know what? I'm glad That's you... What hold on. Close, I'm, I'm glad right you now. said that because, you know, it was a, a senator and a representative in California got elected that was openly about... She was open about her sexuality. She said she was in an open marriage. She got elected like a motherfucker. 
white man call it hell of a night. Asian don't. man call it Thailand. The black people call it. Hey. <laughs> she she was she was open about her sexuality and her marriage, but a scandal broke out. What oh, you may know what I'm talking about. Like the the representative of California, the lady was in open marriage, but the pictures came out. She was you know doing open things with somebody else, but they posted her pictures online and all hell broke loose and she had to step down. But going back to his point, because Andrew Gillum is black, get that nigga the fuck up out of here. Get him out the paint. We don't want to see him no more. Yes. So Courtney said he wasn't set up and I'm trying to figure out how. How you figure that? Like, how you figure he wasn't Courtney, set how up you figure that? when he's in a <laughs> hotel room? Like, right now, yeah. Courtney, you got know, it's like OJ. Really everybody right. in the uh, hotel got a camera and a recorder except for OJ. But yeah, what y'all think about this, man? Um, Florida man strikes again. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um. Uh, like I said, he made a great point. He didn't do nothing illegal. This is some strange it's things. It's weird, but, but like, come on, bro. Like, none illegal. of this stuff is illegal. Um, Why is this a big deal? Yeah, I mean, I've seen Britney Spears do worse. <laughs> like Lamar Odom as well. That it's nigga like, died. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, come less, on, man. <laughs> Take out I mean, but, from wild interviews. So, so, <laughs> so Lamar Odom actually is a very good point, right? So like yeah. Lamar yeah, Odom can do coke, coke, right? He can do cocaine <laughs> yeah. and still be beloved in the public because yeah. he's Lamar Odom. But Andrew Gillum has gay sex and now all of a sudden he's the worst person ever. Like, come on, bro. Like, what man, listen, here? man. Yeah. Centuries of program. Like, you know, America was like, ah, freedom from religion, but oh, hey, this religion though. You know what I'm saying? And so, like, that shit is instilled in how everybody views everything. Yeah. And then shit is Florida. Oh, Cole, no, what man. you got? What you got? Man? Oh, no. But you I got bet the people? alphabet community is hot right now. That's all I got. Expound. That's all you got. That's all you got, man. Why would they be hot? I don't know. They had somebody they could vote for. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> like, that's it. <laughs> that's right. it. You, 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 you got it. Like, you had a cool night. Walked in the room. <laughs> yeah, no, like. Probably walked in the room. That nigga had a party. Party party. That nigga had a party. Party party party. party, party, party. Let's all get wasted. <laughs> no, like, Andrew oh. WK party. Fam, bloody like, no, nose party. Got a body. I'm talking about, man. I'm party. Now, I went on Bloody Noon. No, they was motherfucking had some crystal meth. Yeah, no. That's, like, how do you do crystal meth? You snorted the smoke. No, I don't know. I'm just saying, people like do shit. When I, DJ, when I, how do you do crystal meth? Like, you're, so, you're, you're our resident. All right, uh, so <laughs> when I got arrested for like, when I got arrested for like possession and all that shit, right? Oh, yeah, you had to do them stupid ass clothes. It went crystal meth. Man! <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Bro! <laughs> Bro, when I had to take them classes, when I had to take them classes, like, nigga, it was somebody, so they lump everybody into the classes. Yes, nigga, you be in that bitch with Like, you be in classes with real criminals, nigga. Like, nigga, I just had weed. Yeah, me too. This nigga. This is over here, this nigga. <laughs> nah, nigga, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Yeah, we nah, no bro. Shit. I wouldn't. Shit I was chilling. I was chilling. But like, <laughs> at the same time, either my case came out better than his. I still had to <laughs> yeah, no, because my shit happened in 2012. So like, when Alabama was still like, we make <laughs> more money. <laughs> <laughs> but like, now it's different because states legalizing the shit. But <clears throat> no, man. Like, what's fucked up, shit, man? bro? Like, niggas don't need to be sitting in that class. They need to be locked in motherfucking padded room. Ho no, like, no, but oh, no, no, like that mess shit. Day. Like, that nigga, shit for real, nigga. Like, let's stay on topic, though, man. Like, no, we were on topic about the mess. Now you talking about mess? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, yeah. like, so in that class, you you just everybody's lumped in together. So I'm in that bitch with motherfuckers that's in that bitch for like fucking manufacturing and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I just got I just got caught 
With a blunt? Less than two grams. <laughs> You get what I'm saying? <laughs> Nigga be chewing on their nails. Nigga, <laughs> 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 bro, hell in that bitch, bro. No doubt, bro. Niggas in that yeah, bitch scratching. Hey, so when we got to take another test? Oh, Nigga, get shoot. off of it. <laughs> Motherfucker, like, hold you hold on, hold on. What? What about right. Andrew Gillum, man? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking That nigga, 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 that that shit. Yeah, I just say, like, I, I, I legitimately don't understand what the uproar is. Like, I get it, like, you didn't It's a Christian puritanical, you know? like, fucking Bible Belt black bullshit. Man. Like, and then he black. And so, like, they gonna hold him to a higher standard. You know what I'm saying? Like, the game... Politics is usual. Yeah. The game is the game, right? You know what I'm saying? And, like, when niggas just fall into they, pe- they like, place, then just, like, oh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, yeah, yeah. And move that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, for real, though. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, we went to the snack machine together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all yeah, made me think about a situation like with OJ in 06, 05, like when, you know, that was a, that was a clear setup. They got him caught all coked up. That's what I'm saying? Playing with like, his nose and shit. He went down, this is my goddamn shit. I'm motherfucking OJ. You think he stayed from the juice? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you take from the juice? Watch your fans all run up out here. I know, you're yeah, a bad ass nigga. You couldn't run nowhere to him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you old as fuck. That's yeah, how he man. sounded on the tape recording. You think you stayed from the juice? You take from the juice? <laughs> I was like, nigga, what the fuck you yeah. talking about? Like, <laughs> Read the comments, man. Okay, where we at? Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, T stupid. Damn, they how long? Slow down. Whoa, Andrew versus Lamar, really? Um, no, sir. All right. <laughs> um, somebody said, "Wow." They were probably about the alphabet community. Um, um meth and gay sex versus some lies and a little coma. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't, no, I'm just, I ain't saying what Lamar Odom did was worse. Cause he also had some wild and out shit where he was like smashing out people's windows and shit like that. I'm just saying like, not the, I, I feel you. I'm saying that even with all of that, I guarantee you in five or six years, he could run for an office somewhere and he'll win just cause he's Lamar Odom. Yeah. Um, they said, damn, you a crackhead. <laughs> I don't know who they were talking about. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Both bad but not comparable. She was Jay saying that. Breaking bad uh, type shit. <laughs> DJ was sitting next to Walter White in his uh, uh, court appointed classes. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If you black on politics now, people looking for you to be like Obama. Mm-hmm. Um, it is stereotype, but also at the same time, you really think they're going to let one of us be president before Obama? <laughs> And not even it's after, not even after, before really. Like he, I mean, you he was like the universal soldier acceptable. of black people. Yeah, yeah acceptable black man. Like yeah. no facial hair, nothing. You know what I'm saying? It was just his he's very. Name was, he was he was little, his middle name was just Hussein, but yeah. Yeah, that was the only coincidence. Line. Couldn't change that. Um, <laughs> what else? He trying to feminize the community. <laughs> All right. I, I think that's uh, that's Chillity. She yeah, nah, she being so you facetious. Mind. Yeah, I had like a bunch of old men at the bar. That's my goddamn mom. Um, <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, mom. Yeah, man, but yeah. Jay Electronic. <laughs> All, right. All right, now we Jay go somewhere. Well. Uh, man, you're like, oh, I get in this. <laughs> I was born for this shit. What's Jay up? Electronic, man, <laughs> he dropped his. Long awaited album after 10 years. Anybody that know me know how I feel about Jay Electronica. <laughs> he dropped this album, man. And I don't know, it was, you know, it wasn't really a, a solo project. But <laughs> as a, if you're a fan of Jay Electronica, fuck it, you just appreciate the music <laughs> anyway. So, man, I just wanted to go, go around and see what y'all thought about the album, the pros and cons of it, what was y'all favorite track. And overall, like, you know, give me a great Hey, read the last know. comment yeah. before we move on. Hello. Oh, hello. So Andrew didn't win governor clearly, but his platform included 
being Lo a being a lovely family, loved his black wife and black ass kids, but it's unfortunate meth and gay sex. Hell yeah, it's disappointing as fuck. Folks have it though. Chill out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He was just in the room. Yeah, hey, it's it. Yeah. J Electronica. Right. My yeah. mom was like, yeah. Um, so J Electronica album, right? <laughs> Featuring Jay Z. <laughs> now don't get me wrong if you take away all of these other layers at its core that is a beautiful project Back fucking me. love the music yeah, yeah. um one step outside of that i feel like the build of the sound the content the message is very much rooted in j electronica as a person but the rapper in me fucking loves Jay-Z being able to talk like this. Because Jay-Z is one of those people you're talking about. He's been looking at the game for so long. Looking at the you maze. I'm going to call my son, sir. Um, he ain't even 90. 90. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's not his romper. <laughs> <laughs> so 90, 90, 90, 90, 90. 90. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying, like... Like I like I fucking enjoy being I was so happy with being able to hear Jay Z talk in that vein. Um, because that's not something he can do as a artist who's existed in commercial music for the last twenty years, like heavily. Yeah. Um also, another step outside of that. Um I did feel some type of way about Shiny Suit Theory because I don't get me wrong, it fits with the album beautifully and it makes so much sense with the other records they paired around it um the 10 year single thing is just ridiculous stuff <laughs> um, it definitely could have been like a bonus track on there i still i'm glad it's on there shit exhibit c could have been a bonus track on there. i would have been happy because um, shit we got some i'm happy but um when we get to a bigger idea in the hip-hop world right i feel like as great as the music is, great as everything I just mentioned, I still feel like I don't have a Jay Electronic Thanks. album. Because, don't get me wrong, like, an album from Jay Electronica would have been amazing. Probably been one of the best solo debuts ever. If you get to the great artists of all time, greatest artists of all time, they collaborate with Jay Z. You get into the hip hop world, it's only an elite percentage of people that can even call Jay Z to ask for a verse. He'll make them wait for years. True. You get into newer artists, Jay Z might do your remix. <laughs> like, yeah. He might. He did have a Kendrick last one, wasn't it? Mm. Um, you get into artists that signed to Jay Z. J. Cole got a feature on the first album. You know. That was the only feature he got with Hov, even to this point. And he still got lackluster uh, <laughs> label support. You get to <laughs> he own now. You get to artists outside of the Rock Nation family. Not even outside of Rock Nation family. You get to the great artists that's starting out. Mm, Lupe got a J verse. You know what I'm saying? First project. Yeah. Drake got a J verse first project. How many people really get a Jay-Z verse the first <laughs> project? You get the J Electronica. <laughs> Somebody who has not put out an album for 10 years. You cannot walk in the door <laughs> with a whole album featuring Jay Z. Don't get me wrong. If it was me, I'd have did that shit too. But there's no Watch bigger trump card story. to having a successful first album than having Jay Z on 80% of the album. Um, and that creates a confusion in the hip hop world because it's like, yo, do we even consider this a debut album for you? Because you got the biggest trump card and arguably the greatest rapper of all time standing right next to you all the way through this holding your hand. But at the same, on the side of the coin, that album probably never would have got fucking done if it went for Jay Z. Because <laughs> Jay Electronica just apparently didn't give a fuck putting out an album. Um, so that's the double edged sword I'm battling. Mm. when it comes to the exterior layer. And then how does that work later on down the lines? We want the Grammys to get it right. And if they're getting it right for the 2020, this is by far the project right me. now. Yeah. Yeah. But can this nigga really be considered uh, the best new artist? Can he really win that award when you got Jay-Z there? Can he really get, he can get album of the year. I respect it. 
rapper. But are they gonna get that award to Jay Z as well? Because they're gonna get that Jay Electronica because it says Jay Electronica. It creates a it's a same thing you was talking about like it's unexpectedcy. It's like yo, uh, like this is. I still feel like I don't have a Jay Electronica album, but I have a great album, a great, great, great album. <coughs> but I still feel like I don't have a Jay Electronica. What's your album. favorite song on that album? Um, I would say I like Ezekiel's Will. Um, you know, I think this one with the dream. We gonna see. <laughs> that shit is groovy. I've been in a space of finding bops. Um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, I also like the Ghost of Soldier Slim because I like the texture that it came in with after like setting the idea and then just ramp it up right off the bat. Um, and then full circle, like just his appreciation for Southern culture. Like we talking about the Ghost of Soldier Slim, a you know, of course, a legend in Plus capacity, in, dog. Big eight. You know what I'm saying? In Louisiana, um, in New Orleans. We talk about JLA being from New Orleans, you know what I'm saying? And we can go all the way back to uh, not even ninety two. I'm talking about flux capacitor, but yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, that can go back, but that's just an appreciation of their culture, right? So let's take yeah. that dip, but come back up. Full surface to, he was the first cat to really adopt, like, juvenile from New Orleans. Yeah, like, yeah. two decades on ago. On yeah, remix. on the Han remix out yeah. the gate. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Only, like, great artists and great records get a J remix out the back. So, but even with that, that just shows his appreciation for New Orleans culture and for what J Electronica brings to the table with everything that's New York based with the 5% of the talk, uh, Nation of Islam and coming from the culture that he does and how he speak about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was cool to hear Jay tie up so many loose ends like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I don't know whether I appreciate it more for Jay-Z being able to talk that shit, but I know Jay Electronic is a talented rapper as well and a lot of his content is rooted in him. So, is providing a platform for, for Jay to talk that shit, but I, maybe I love the album because Jay is talking that shit. <laughs> let, let me, because this, this is a, a statement that you made that you feel like it, you you would have gotten a, an amazing Jay Electronica album if he had just done it all by himself. Let me ask you this: What's your favorite Jay Electronica song? <laughs> uh, better in tune with the infinite. Okay, it's not on the album. Though. What's the hook for that song? Uh. There's somebody singing. There's something to say. Yes, yeah. but there's no really no hook. Exactly. But I can recall so it, the verses. Ex so <laughs> this, is, this is what my point is going to be. I don't know that Jay Electronica knows how to compose an album. I think Very he knows true. how to rap verses. Yeah. And there was literally no way we were going to get a Jay Electronica album unless Jay Z had come in and completed songs. We would have got a lot of Jay Electronica verses, which would have been another mixtape from him. But I don't know that he knows how to make songs. And so that was probably the essential problem is like, I can rap, bro, but like I can't make songs. So Jay was like, OK, I know how to tie a bow around all these sparse concepts. And let me go get Dream in here to put a couple of hooks on it. Because yeah. Dream was on the project a couple of times. He went and got people to make them. Yeah. Into, he got he Jay like, cool. That's no, he, he constructed exactly. this. Exactly. He went and got You're a You're not ready of, for a Jay version yet? But we'll he got a couple of verses from <laughs> Jay Electronica and was like, all right, cool. I fuck this verse. I like this verse. I like this verse. I can make these into songs. Okay, let me throw a verse on here. Let me get Dream on this one. Let me get Travis Scott on that. And he went and he put an album together. I don't know. That. Here, take this. I don't know that we would have ever gotten a J Electronica album. That's what I'm saying. Because I don't know that J Electronica knows how to make songs. I just don't. I feel like he just knows how to rap. Like, and it, it, it was almost like one of them situations where, like, you got the, the Biggie and Tupac posthumous albums, right? Where it's yeah. like, we just got sparse verses and somebody went in and, like, yeah. put the rest of the canvas together and you got an art piece of artwork now. Um, that being said, I have to echo the sentiments of, like, it's a good project. But I don't, I still don't feel like I've gotten the J Electronica project yet. I feel like I got a good project that J Electronica was on a lot. Um, and those aren't, aren't the same to me. Um, so overall, it's good. Uh, what's my favorite song? I probably what have songs. Uh, I mean, I, I I think I'm gonna have to go with the same situation. Um, because I don't remember the names of the songs. I just remember uh, feeling on me right now. It's legally, man. Legally yeah, that jump, right. That was right. right. <laughs> it wasn't the hardest song on there, but like that's the one that stuck with me. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like it felt I, the best. Yeah, it just it was it was a nice groove. Um, so like I think that's my favorite. Um, but 
I don't know. I mean, but man, honestly, the verses that I appreciate the most were Jay Z verses. Mm. Like Jay was just talking the whole. I was like, he talking, bro. Like, hey, I don't know what else to say about that. Um, and not that I don't appreciate what Jay Electronica put on the project. He definitely had uh, some. My my issue with um, with the Jay Electronica offering on this is that it felt like it was stuck in the same space a lot. Yeah. Um, like. He was like, oh, you know, the, the divine energy blessed me to be able to talk to y'all. And like, he just kept saying that same format of things over and over again, which was like, I've been destined to speak to you infidels about what God <laughs> bro! over. And oh, it was like, it was almost a gospel rap album, bro. Like, I'm just like, bro, like, I get it. You the chosen one. <laughs> but, so I said it when Jesus is king, it was Allah's king. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Like, it's, it's. Yeah. It's that it's 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 a it's that's what his chorus was. It's like the same idea over and over again for like a, a vast majority of the project. And that's the problem that I have. Like I don't feel like I got a a breadth of uh, ex, uh of experiential speaking from Jay Electronica. I got a lot of the same. Like he he could have recorded that all in the same studio session. You know what I'm saying? Because it was all in the same yeah, mode. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But uh, again, that that's not to take away from what I thought was a, a, a very dope project. We talked about the the, uh, the texture of it was really nice. Um, the lyricism was dope. The project the, the um, production was dope. Um, the features on it was dope. Like I mean, there's there's not much I can take away from that project as it stands by itself. Um, you know, Ozu don't appreciate it, but uh, that's the whole other thing. <laughs> oh, oh, man, I'm, Ozu. In the I'm in what the same. Up? I'm in the same world as Ozu. But you told me you got something on this. Good. Uh. Yeah, Jay oh, was talking. Sleep well. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Jay was te- Jay was definitely talking, but I wish I could have heard that like on the Jay Z album. Uh, but like you said, like I really ain't no J Electronic fan or whatever the case may be, but I have listened to a couple of his songs, nigga be spitting, and it's cool. But damn, I wanted his whole album like to be like, you know what I'm saying? Because you've been hyping him up for like a couple of years and shit. Yeah. I was like, yeah, I'm waiting on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And finally, we get goddamn the Watch the Thrones 2.3, like you said. 2.3. <laughs> <laughs> <Like, why don't, laughs> 1.9. 1.9. 1.9. Mm, side story. Side story. I bet Jay-Z 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 watch Jay-Z 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 the throne Jay-Z guy. Jay-Z walking here was like, I was going to get us to Kanye and we even tripped. Did? Yeah. Shit good, though. Like, yeah. 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 All right, so. Check. Oh, yeah, I already know. Oh, yeah. I hated the mixing on this shit. First yeah. off, it's not a car album. You can't listen to that shit in your fucking car. The sounds don't surround, like, right. I haven't even yeah. listened to the car yet. Like, so the frequencies don't they hit got a right. Point. I haven't listened to it in the car. Yeah, yeah no, nah, like, the frequencies don't hit Other right. Other than the but blinding. But in the crib. <laughs> oh, that. Because, you, you know why? Because Jay Lake pr- produced the album, yeah. like, the majority of the album, except for the blinding. You yeah. can tell it's crisp, but yeah. go ahead. But no, like, I get it, man. You fuck with the lo-fi shit. Like, how yeah. Earl fuck with the lo-fi shit. Yeah, like, like compare like, them to that. Man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you you be rolling. <laughs> but, like, I get it. But then, like, Jay-Z don't sound right on lo-fi shit. 444 was mm. also lo-fi. It was, but Sorry. it wasn't, like, to Sorry, this what? degree. <laughs> yeah. You get what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Like... It was like you remember when Kanye was doing the uh, the distorted vocal shit. It was like to that degree, kind of like almost it. like with this. But like, and then on top of like, I don't really like approaching shit with like expectations. But like, you hear like uh, the fucking this the. The verse on the status select the song, the uh, reflection eternal track, mm-hmm. with um like Talia, most of yeah, yeah, yeah. like you hear that verse, you hear Exhibit C, you hear all the shit, and you go all right, no, nah, this nigga gonna come with the shit. You wait like twelve years, and then he come with the same shit, the same energy from that shit back then, and then it's just like that's who he is. That's what you. Yeah. I got it. Cool. I'm, I'm straight on that. Like. Dr. Umar the rapper, I'm good. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh. Don't do my dog like that. Don't do it like that. Umar. Come on, man. He, he ain't no, no charlatan. <laughs> Damn. I mean, oh, but like, no, might be but no, him. but no, like, his verses only matter if you give a shit about the FOI shit. Mm. And that's how limited his shit is. Yeah. But at the same yeah. time, like, it's good, it's dope for like, if you knowledgeable about that shit. Yeah, yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? Like it's dope if you're knowledgeable about that shit. But at the same time, there is a world beyond like your yeah. beliefs. Yeah, yeah, I get yeah. But you know, like the five percent is more upon the damn fault. Just saying. Damn. Destroy what you went that's number, that's number nine. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know the knowledge. That's number nine. Hey, yeah, yeah. Gotta follow the signs. Hey. But like, um, <laughs> but like, like it's cool for what it is. Yeah. But at the same time, like, cause the first time I listened to it, I listened to it with like critique eyes. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I was like, all right, I'm gonna break down every single piece of this shit. Yeah. <laughs> Then I listen to it. <clears throat> it's not a good car album. Like the frequencies just don't hit right. But the shit fun because like Flux Capacitor is my shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that's just some New Orleans shit. Yeah. yeah and yeah, I yeah. love. Yeah. I love cultural shit. And so yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? That's my fucking shit. Yeah. Yeah. Man. I'm a fan, so I, you know, I thoroughly enjoyed the album. I have some pros and some cons to be objective. You know, the pros, one of the pros, we got the album. <laughs> like, the I'm biggest just, pro. I'm just, I'm just appreciative to even hear the niggas, not in bits and pieces. You know, even with Jay-Z, yeah, I was, yeah, it's goddamn Jay-Z on every song, but I'm appreciative because it's Jay-Z, like, unadulterated Jay-Z. Mm-hmm. Like and I feel like this is how Jay Z wanted to spit for years. I think I ain't been running you know, like common sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jay Z is definitely a hustly corporatized, so that that ain't like how the nigga would rap. Only like only on Lucy's and mixtape songs you yeah, might hear him rap like that. Jay Electronica gives him the avenue to actually rap like that. And Jay like I, we don't you know Jay Electronica is a mysterious person. Got but Jay Z smacked that nigga up and down. Yeah, down. yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah, he was geeked to be he, in the Jay-Z. studio with. Him. That's that's like they, they're really like friends in real life. Yeah, and I feel like no, it it's like, like me and my homie saying the same thing over and over and over and over again. Yeah, but yeah. So I mean, Jay, yeah, Jay Z, yeah, he a he a. Fa- he a fan of Jay Electronic. He a friend, and it wouldn't have got done if it wasn't for him. It was oh, obviously really? like unedited tracks that he had made, mm-hmm. like the Alchemist track. He did that like two years ago. He previewed that online, but he never brought it out. And I feel like Jay Z, like, hey, we've been paying your goddamn ass. <laughs> something. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers, like, why this nigga on the payroll? With Rock Nation, like, you know, you need to do something. And I feel like Jay Z finally stepped in. To make it happen, I don't know if the nigga got performance art or he just don't give a fuck. Like, I don't, it's either <laughs> one or the other. But I was overall appreciative for the album. Pros, you know, is he brought the album. Another pros that that's that's what I wanted to hear. I, I've been like, I, I know y'all on the people on the Uzi verts and all the different shit. This is what I like to hear. To me, J Electronica is an embodiment of like conscious rap. The poor righteous teachers, the brand Nubians. The Rock Kims, you know, the public enemies, like it's you can you can hit a strand of that in, in his raps. Even on the album, like the Farrakhan excerpts. I know he yeah. a part he you know a part of the Nation of Islam, the five percent nation, and you can hear it, but you know, public yeah, enemies. They got him not pu- yelling. Yeah. They ain't got Farrakhan yelling on their records. Yeah. Nobody's doing that in hip hop. Other than public enemy. Like it yeah. takes the nation out his other all the other albums, they would have excerpts of Farrakhan speaking like in between the tracks or in the beginning of the tracks, so you can tell he was inspired by those guys that that I mentioned. That nigga super villain too. So so yeah, man. <laughs> that's a, that's a different topic for a different day, <laughs> you know. But yeah, I I mean I I enjoyed it. Some of my favorite tracks was of course the Never Ending Story. Of I mean you know he rapping parables. It's almost like Ecclesiastic from from the Old Testament Bible. And that's that's how the, the niggas rapping on that shit. Like you gotta kind of be in the know to really know what we talking about. Exactly. If, you, if you're just a casual listener, it'll turn you off. Like what the fuck is he? This nigga talking about Kermit the Frog. What the hell, <laughs> what the hell is he talking about? You hey. know. So, like he's speaking in a parable for people that really you know like him. Like and it shows on Sound Scan. He only sold like thirty three thousand albums the first week. No, he, he really barely, he, didn't, he didn't even. Um, they didn't even like, advertise he was in top twenty five. 
Yeah, 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 of course. Cause and you now know, he's well, showing you know, merch. Literally, you know, like, if you look on the feature list, Jay Z is not listed. Not yeah, like, no, but he on every single album track. Artist, though. That was yeah. not even as an album artist. Yeah, yeah I don't, I don't think. Yeah, I can see why he would be nominated for a Grammy, but he's not because the whole situation with, with Rosenberg, which is a misunderstanding, but his affiliation, yeah, his affiliation <laughs> with Louis Farrakhan, you know. Oh, people, yeah, you know, he, I don't think he may not even be nominated. Yeah, I don't, I don't think he gives a but, fuck. Yeah, about he don't. That he don't himself. care. Like yeah. he just want to do it. I'm just saying, how does that feel? No, y'all gonna hear this there for a while, Tom. He gets <laughs> like, like, who's been having a great year, right? And God, I don't want to do that. No, I'm not even gonna do that in my mind. Um, but let's say another. <laughs> fuck it, I'm gonna do it. Go ahead. Um, and trust me, in no way am I comparing the baby to <laughs> Jay Electronica. But I'm just saying, let's say if it's another rapper with skill level that had a year like the baby had last year, right? That meets Jay Electronica. You mean Kevin Gates? Level. Huh? Kevin Gates? No, I'm, I'm just saying. Smacking, artists, like I'm, I'm talking about artists. smacking women up, though. That's what I'm talking about. No. no. <laughs> He's talking about just like as far as his Yeah, I'm, I'm being, I'm being. Like, 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 they are not going to have a better musically put together album than this Jay Electronica mm. and Jay Z album. Which is really what it is. A lot of people but, didn't feel like that it, that it was that way. Though. But if he wins Best New Artist, you know what I'm saying? Like, do he really get to claim that? Because Jay Z really put this album out underneath a different name. Like, that's kind of fucked up. Like, you can't. That's you know what I'm saying. Like, it, it creates so much confusion on the outside yeah. layers of shit that don't matter. But for some hip hop people, it matter a lot. Niggas yeah. got Grammy speeches written. Some niggas <laughs> like me, shit don't really matter at all. I'm trying to. Get my TED talk together. I don't think it would matter to him at all. Yeah, I don't I think, think it matters just, to him you know, at all. But in the hip hop world, even where like Diddy is at the Grammys last year, like y'all got a year to get this shit right. So when this album come up for Grammy nom next year and they don't elect it, did they get it right? That's a good question. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It I feel like it should be nominated, but I don't think it's going to be nominated. No, no, nah, nah, it ain't got the sales to be there. But it is what it is. Quickly, like my cons, man, just Blaze went on the project. Mm. You know, I feel like they did make an album. I, I don't know but, that I don't know that Blaze would have made sense for the aesthetic of what the album was. Yeah. But if it was gonna be like Exhibit C, that shit was gonna be amazing. Yeah. I mean, but yeah, I, I just feel like I don't know if it was some type of creative differences, but just Blaze wasn't a part of the album. And we all know just Blaze is they, like that's his man. So that was kind of weird. Another con is obviously like it was more of him and Jay Z more so than him personally, but I feel like his, you know, the written testament the embodiment of it was like the never ending story, and you know the, the the first track, the Soldier Slim. That's exactly who he is. Like that's he has a myopic view of shit, so that's exactly who he is. I and I enjoyed the the last track, which is really like the Kobe Bryant track. Yeah, they recorded that. The um all praise due to Allah. Yeah. That was that they have actually recorded that the night that Kobe Bryant, the day that Kobe Bryant died, and you can tell like you know Jay Z was like visibly shooken. He didn't mention Kobe Bryant in any way, but you could tell how he was like I you know he was he Kobe Bryant was actually at his house like for New Year's like Jay Z had a New Year's party. Kobe was there. They was on texting terms and you know, yeah. I got numbers in my phone. I I mean that, that was a Man, that was, that was a hard, though. Yeah, yeah, that was a that was emotive hard. song, very emotive song. I felt that, like if you know, because even if you didn't know, like they made that for you know what I'm saying. Talking about Kobe Bryant, like when I heard that, you know, it felt like it made me yeah. think about Kobe Bryant. So that was one of my favorite tracks, other than Never in the Story. Me and my brother in agreement on that in regards of the. My brother feel like Universal Soldier Nas was supposed to been on the track. Do y'all hear Nas on that track? Nice. I didn't go back and listen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because, you know, you think about like the, the children of like Poor Righteous Teachers or Brand Nubian, Rakim, and all that. You would think Nas would be a part of the, the project. I think it was like Jay Z really got in hey, nigga, we need to put this out, this and that. Yeah. And, you know, With that's the whole what happened. 40 days, 40 nights. Yeah, because, you know, when you think about that. scheduling, like you would think Nas would be on it or Rakim, one of them, some of them cats would be on it, but it is what it is. And I feel like another reason why, you know, Jay Leck produced the majority of the album and was an outsider producers of it, Swiss and other people. It's because um, I think Jay Z. That's, <laughs> that's a whole nother story. That's a whole nother story. 
But I, I feel like Jay Z is really a friend of Jay Lake, so he wanted him to get published. He wanted to get those production credits. Yeah, you can tell because they could have, because for real, for real, Jay Z could have got other producers to come in and you know endorse the sound, made it more listenable in your car, or whatever. But I thoroughly enjoyed it because I may be biased because I'm a fan, but I didn't like the fact that Jess Blaze wasn't on it, and I didn't like the fact that it was the majority of him and Jay Z. I wanted to hear more of him, but nonetheless, I'm appreciative that. I got that album now. I mean, I'm gonna listen to it. You know, simple as that. Yeah. Because if if that didn't come out, I was still gonna be listening to Fela. Like, I feel like it's gonna be it, so yeah. So. Like so for me, I feel like it's gonna be like a Watch the Throne situation because you know how it was. that's how I people watch, compare. It. Like you know what I'm saying? Because like we watched the Throne, I was like, man, look, the shit just didn't like line up right for me at the time. And then like as time went on, like I started the shit started to grow on me. I feel like that's how this is gonna be. But at the same time, it's like, man, it's a whole bunch of technical shit with this album that is just like... Mm, you, want the, you want the beats to be right. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, Here's the thing, though. Watch the Throne is much different than this album, right? I like this album. Yeah, but it's Kanye like, ain't get his ass whooped nah, by Jay-Z the nah, entire nah, album. See, nah, I, I don't even... See, I want, I want to rebuttal that earlier. But, um, That's because Kanye had Voltron with him. Nah, I Nah, like Jay Z was the road beast of the week. I mean, yeah. <laughs> like here's like with Watch the Throne, right? You got two people like really giving off maximum strength to show like who's on top of this totem pole. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's like you know Kanye pulling out all of his creative stuff, his best producer stuff, and his best rapper stuff. Then you got Jay Z pulling out his best rapper shit, his best business sense, his best planning. And execution shit like that was really like an example of peak power even that album is rooted into like i'm gonna flex my power on you because drake and lil wayne was playing the album called road to the throne before that yeah and they trumped it yeah. With, yeah. With yeah. i know yeah. but, I'm why saying, I hear that shit. but i'm saying at the same <laughs> time fact, no. that's all no that wasn't after that was before but i'm saying like after you hit that you don't want to hear them that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah it's just yeah. really a flex of power. Yeah, the sawing of the Maybach in Australia. Yeah, the nah, way they like, the album, nah, we just blowing really, money. <laughs> it's really, it's really a flex of like, yeah, I really think you out here. <laughs> nah, <laughs> it's a flex on the entire music industry. This album is great for the same reason I love Outkast. Like mm. Outkast is like unapologetically southern and unapologetically creative when they came out. This album is more in the vein of like, yo, we're not really trying to flex or outdo each other. Rap gonna have that natural natural narrative of who had the better verse. But honestly, this felt more like, yo, let's... It was like childlike, like for real. Like they was it was childlike to, to, to the people that they listened to in the 80s. Yeah. That's, you know that's what I'm saying? Or in the early 90s. It was an experiment. Yeah, yeah. Like it they was, was... Yeah, they was having fun. It really was. Yeah. And... Jay didn't try to outdo anything Jay Electronica did lyrically. Yeah, no, it you just know what I'm saying? And I feel like Jay just been, <laughs> stupid. But I feel like Jay been sitting on this for like the past at least the past ten years. You know what well, I'm saying? But he can talk like that now because he's in a place where he can talk. Well he like can, that. Yeah. 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 That's why and I feel like that's another reason he didn't put his name on any feature, nor his name on the album or this title. I think so it, was, it was really fun. Like, yeah, it was it just was fun for him. Like I haven't heard him rap like this since <laughs> you know, nigga, we made it. I'm about to run Yaka back in the cage. Yeah, yeah, like he yeah. been sitting on these no, for a long time. The, like the, hold on, the, that nigga lying from Flux Capacitor with with the triple entendre with the OJ, the back yeah. OJ. Hey. I you know Dumb. y'all hey. maybe turn back to the OJ. Hey, the OJ I'm not as sweet as the old oh, yeah. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Quadruple there, yeah, yeah. Hey, God damn. Like, hey. hold on. Yeah, I was <laughs> kind of wait because I had an OJ line that was hard. <laughs> 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 but don't, let's not have like uh, I mean see Jay Electronic is one of those If you know you know cats Like when he He had to bar the album When he said I bet a Rothschild Get a bang for my buck That was his girlfriend I, that, was just, yeah. that was just a flex line yeah. But yeah. Was like, But if uh, you know you know Yeah, yeah. No <laughs> straight up That's what I'm saying That was a flex line The girlfriend you know, Rothschild He was dating the motherfucker Cause you You like the 10-4 hat shit like, Yeah Money 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 money, yeah, money, like, money 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 Five money. families of the earth <laughs> <laughs> That's that what I'm saying that nigga geek now But you gotta You gotta geek You gotta geek you gotta Hold get, up. 
<laughs> but yeah. a lot of the J Electronica bars, you do have to go that deep to understand it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Even being the black guy, black guy dating the white girl, <laughs> really? I get a bang for my book. Like yeah, it's just yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. like that's well, a thing be rap. Like and the slave, it's a bunch of stuff that yeah. tied to that. And like, they say bring back the loom hat to <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'll wait till the next time. <laughs> <laughs> like man, we ain't got a little subject. We good, man. We'll bring the hat. Yeah, 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 man. We, got we might do some bonus time, but, you know, yeah, some man, people got to get home. But yeah, we, y'all yeah. hold tight. Let us figure this they out. Nigga ain't got to be nowhere. Damn, that's fucked up, man. It was a good joke, but I just don't get to be at home because I got to work. Oh no, I'm gonna give you all the self deprecation, dark bullshit. Look, man. Like, man, I enjoyed this because I didn't really have a goddamn talk. <laughs> I enjoyed it. I, man, I appreciate you coming. We gotta come through again, man. Yeah, for real, for real. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so live streamers, be sure to follow the page. Live streamers, stay tuned. For everybody else listening right yeah. now, be sure to um, follow us on everything. Also, Get the versus the world album. We was supposed yeah, to yeah. talk about that hey, in man. the beginning, but it's my fault. I had a good conversation all, all the way around, bro. Ain't no big deal. Um, also, listen to the Mediums podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. As well. No, they be talking about important shit. Yes. <laughs> 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 for real, for real. It's important to us. We artists, <laughs> yeah. Right? If, you, if you're an artist, <laughs> you would definitely appreciate the Mediums podcast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, and shout out to Lisa Lou as well. Yeah. So, um. Cop the merch product and all of that. Yes. New merch. You're in the house. They new merch. Want. New merch. Versus aluminum hats, man. Get yours. Uh-huh. Supplies left. Tune in to the uh, the pocket dimension. Twitch.tv forward slash the phasing octopus. I'll be playing video games that I like. <laughs> 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 and I'll be playing my music. So if you down to check out what I like, let's <laughs> fuck what you like. <laughs> <laughs> Tune in. That's why it's your channel, bro. You get to do what you want. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. I ain't got no channel. Fuck it. I, ain't, I ain't got shit to do. But yeah. Well, look, <laughs> live streamers, stick around for a second. We're gonna figure out what we're gonna do. Um, but everybody that's streaming on Apple, Spotify, whatever, if you've heard of us, check us out there. Um, that is the phasing octopus that we call DJ, who is a DJ among seven other things. That is Wu Tim, your neighborhood nigga. I'm Eugene Wright, also known as Eugene Wright, formerly known as Eugenius Neutron. It's All my boy. day ones call me Mafia Boy, but my mama called me Game Breaker. Um, <laughs> yeah. This is our special guest, GI Magus. Thank you for coming yeah, through. Yeah, um, yeah. Definitely refreshing to have a more serious conversation this week. Last week, check out CDC. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely got to talk for. Yeah. <laughs> um, and this is your host, C. No. This has been the Sweet Life Podcast. Peace. Good content.